Hello, Samantha, and welcome back to the stream. Happy Thursday. Uh, we're playing Darkest Dungeon again today, and we have the Siren to kill, and then hopefully we'll be ready to go right on to Veteran without doing a lot more leveling missions or prep missions. I keep feeling like I'm going incredibly slowly through this game, but the fact that we haven't beaten the Siren yet, you know, means maybe, maybe I shouldn't go on to Veteran. And if I shouldn't be going on to Veteran, maybe for a first play at least, I'm not going so slow. I'm so worried about my progress in this game, but I'm enjoying. So today we'll try and take it easy and carefully figure out who we should be bringing to Veteran. I need to look over some abilities. I think there's some classes I like more than they deserve. I need to find out who has the best camp uh, abilities. I've, I've literally looked at those once, I think, and otherwise just let sort of chance whoever I bro chose to bring for other random reasons determine what camp abilities I have. We're gonna try and pay a little bit more attention today. I've got Adderall pumping through my system, so maybe I can, but we'll see. How are you doing, Artemis? What's up? I am not Spider-Man, it's good to see you. Never killed the Siren last time? I had to abandon my mission against the Siren last time. Our stress levels were through the fucking roof last time. And um, I think I'd screwed something up. Was it that I hadn't brought like a real healer or something? I think I fucked up and like one of the roles I meant to... No, I think there was an earlier mission where I was like, oh, I'll bring this person to heal and we got in there. I went, oh wait, the Plague Doctor doesn't heal. They can like cure a couple debuffs, but they heal like one health. It wasn't what I thought it was. I'd misremembered. Um, but I think actually the mission with the Siren, I hadn't brought a lot of damage. We were getting through encounters incredibly slowly. And by the time I actually was like just a couple rooms remaining, I was definitely about to see the Siren. Um, we were already so stressed and a little bit hurt and didn't have food and things. So I decided to abandon there rather than risk it. So I, I've not even seen the siren yet. I don't think. Which bosses have I seen? Pig guy, forget their name. And then there was the boss with like some wooden pews in front of them. Who was that? What was the name of that boss? What's up, Brad? What's up, Kaiza? Good to see the both of you. Hey, John Blade, good to see you. What's up, Lightning? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's good to have you here. Did you beat Dynasty Souls last night? I did. I did beat it. We actually cruised through much of the content until right at the end. <laughs> there were some challenges remaining. I enjoyed it, yeah. Beat it and enjoyed it. I remembered Bingus wasn't good for team morale. He made everyone stressed. He does, but I still love him. Still, that may disqualify him from being part of our perfect theorycrafted team. But we'll do all that theory crafting when we get to the game. We, we gotta chat a little bit and guess the game first. We'll worry about that once I can look at stats and actually consider them for once. What up, Hydra? What up, John Blade? Friggin' Bingus. Just kidding, I have no idea. Wasn't the best run. What's up, everyone? Are we gonna guess the game first? We are. The Necromancer. Was that the one who had the wooden things? that I had to break through to get to him too? Or did I fight three bosses? The Necromancer, the pig, and then that wooden pews guy. Lamau, Bingus is the best. GG, nice, good job, thank you. A man of culture, a full bottle of Pepsi. Do you know Pepsi is changing their logo right now? They famously spent like 100 million or something insane on this series of logos. There's a document you can find all online called like the realization of emotionalization or something insane like that, that has a whole bunch of guidelines and geometry for how to create the curves of this logo and how to make it smile in different ways to communicate different feelings. And now they're abandoning it. Yeah, the plan now is to have something like the old Pepsi logo with an even uh, white swirl through it, and then Pepsi, written inside the globe in, like, black lettering. Honestly, I think it looks ugly. The font they chose is a bit weird, but it's not, it, it doesn't really matter either, so I don't care. But it's really funny because they famously spent tons of cash on this ridiculous thing. What's up, Felity? It's good to see you, friendo. Clicked on your stream and it took me to Tino's. Did I link Tino's? Where'd you click it? Where did you click it? Where did you click my stream? No, I put my URL everywhere. Unless I didn't check Twitter. Maybe I put the wrong one on Twitter. On Twitch? No. There's no way. Holy shit, Samantha. By the way, where, 
We're at 2,999 followers. It's It's been showing you guys 3,000 for a while, but it gives me the exact number. We're one away from 3,000. That's super cool. Uh, what was I in the middle of saying? Sounds like three to me again. At least I'm following him now. Good shit. Yeah, they're changing it. This will be the third time in 40 years. Oh, it'll be way more than the third time, technically. They've had at least six major logo revisions. To be fair, they're a 125-year-old company. So, you know. At this point, I'm not surprised that for 40 years, since they were an 85-year-old company, they've been feeling the need to shake it up. Could not care less about the Pepsi logo, it just tastes good. Same. Still gonna be drinking it anyway on Twitch. Showed you offline, but online at the same time, it was weird. Ah, it's probably on Twitch. Sorry about that, you know Twitch is weird. What's up, Pronto? Good to see you. Meanwhile, Coca-Cola, it's 200 years old logo. Success! What's up, that Kevin? It's about time where companies redesign logos. Always starts with sodas. Just hit 400, congratulations! 400 took me a very long time. That is a fantastic milestone. G fucking G, Brad. What's the new logo look like? Oh, let me see if I can find it real quick to show you. Pepsi logo. Um, 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 um. Come on, that's a tiny, tiny image. Give me like a real sized image for it. You know what? I can't find a real sized image for it. So we'll do the tiny, tiny image. That's it. That's it. There you go. I don't like the font, but it doesn't really matter. That's bad. It's like, uh, it's, yeah. Hope they didn't spend too much on it. But I don't think it's, it's not, I don't think it's like good or bad. I just think the font's a bit ugly. Hmm. Yeah, that's KFC. Uh, as you said that, my stream froze and hasn't come back. Why have you done this to me? You should bring back Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man! Looks weird to me. That's so bad. Thought you meant Twitch changing their logo? No, 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 no. Font slightly off? Yes. Peeps? <laughs> Who chose that font? They need to get demoted? That's fucking harsh, isn't it? What the hell? Can't they just be reprimanded? Tino! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Who won the game show? Who won the game show? I put down points, but I didn't stick around to the end. Who won it? There are two A's in catchphrase. What is up, Tino? What's up, Cornudo? Good to see the both of you. Hope you're having a good time. FF7? Does FF7 have that kind of resolution? No, this looks like... rendered live 3D to me. Is it? I have no idea. Anyway, it could be FF7. I don't think it is, but it could be. I'm not totally certain. Crisis Core. I take Pepsi very serious. Not Nick. Nick. Fuzzy in the house. Nick did. You got points. Oh, good shit. Hell yes. Why is Feldy trying to lie to me? Oh, just because because she thinks she's dumb. You're not dumb. You just don't pay any attention. I'm the same way. What's up, Christian DeLarge? Are you a big Clockwork Orange fan? Elden Ring videos brought me here. You're hilarious. I'm subscribing right now. Well, thank you so much for coming over and saying that. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I appreciate hearing that. Plenty more of them to come. Okay, uh, what are we doing for this? I'm going to say Crisis Core because I don't know what to say. Crisis Core FF7. It's not Crisis Core FF7. It is a... Quite well reviewed game. Metacritic score eighty seven percent. Welcome to. We've got. We've got. Oh, he was not Take kidding. Fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Christian DeLarge, thank you so much for the tier one sub. That is very generous. I appreciate that immensely. I forgot to talk about the rules. Uh, this is guess the game. We're guessing the game. The only extra rule we has if you we has is if you definitely know the game. Don't shout it out immediately. Just be smug and be like, I definitely know this game. But let other people throw out some guesses. I will come back to you if we get to the end without knowing. I will. I will beg you to help us not break our perfect streak. I love Pepsi. I hate the new logo. Oh, no, no, I got that. I may have read those your messages out wrong, but I understand that. I love Pepsi, too. I just think it will probably taste the same regardless of what they print on the bottles. Retro-inspired garbage. 
Pepsi's gross and the logo is great. Well, we were just talking about how they. Well, I, you were here for that discussion. For a second, I thought you were you were talking about the smiling thing. Banner Saga. Have you seen the font? It's atrocious. It is. Dark Souls Three. Pokey Tree. The game. Pokey. Sadly, there's no game called Pokey Tree. Let's try, because I'm pretty sure we had Dark Souls 3, as I think I remember where one of the pictures in that one was taken. It's the only reason I'm trusting my memory this time. Um, let's skip Dark Souls 3. Uh, Final Fantasy Zero? What is Final Fantasy Zero? I've never heard of Final Fantasy Zero or forgotten what it is. Also prefer Pepsi, partially for taste, partially because I find their bottles easier to open and close with one hand for driving and working at the same time. It's a good reason. What did we guess? I looked away. We guessed Crisis Core. It's not Crisis Core. FF Type Zero. It's a game. Okay. Type Zero. No results found. Hang out. Final Fantasy Type. Ah, I forgot a hyphen. It's not that. Original Platform PC. Is this a MOBA? The angle is a little bit low. This angle is actually very low. <laughs> like this angle is low enough it could be a third person action MOBA like Smite, but this one's too high. Dota Auto Chess Diablo 3. I hope I would recognize Diablo 3. Where would this be in Diablo 3? Is there a video in the cold? I don't think it's a Diablo 3. There's a burning effect going on here. This swirl. Yeah, it could be Diablo 3. Maybe I remember Diablo 3 less than I think. Diablo 3 is on console too. It came out on console later, didn't it? It's not Diablo 3. Genre role playing and we have quite a calm skeleton standing here. Hmm. Divinity? The first Divinity Original Sin? Or one of the older ones? Oh, they only have Original Sin and Original Sin 2. There we go. 100%? Well, you're not supposed to say it if it's 100%. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Divinity Original Sin. Well done, team. G fucking G. I mean, there's a tiny chance I would have started guessing that. Oh, actually, I would have been able to guess it here. Probably. Because I know Larian made Divinity only because we were talking about Baldur's Gate 3 in Discord the other day and someone mentioned I like Divinity, so I'm looking forward to that. And I went, oh, are they made by the same people? So I looked it up and they are. And whenever it's a series, I guess the first in the series, generally. But it would have taken me until here. Let's do a couple past days. Yakuza. Are those kanji? Stray? Is Baldur's good? Um, Mondo likes it. I don't think you would. You need to read a lot of stats and do a lot of tactics, I believe. It takes long... <laughs> You'd like the characters, but the strategy in it takes a lot of focus. I'm probably avoiding it for that reason. Yakuza Zero, Sleeping Dogs. Thank you. I was, I was, after I said Yakuza, I was like, or that one in Hong Kong, but I couldn't remember the name Sleeping Dogs. Um, not Stray, we had that. Looks like the start of a Warner Brothers movie. Let's try Yakuza Zero. Are you saying my attention span is small? Felity, I'm surprised that you remembered to come back with a response to that. That's what I'm saying. You're correct. Me too, though. Me too. Larian's the company that had a problem, many people making white male characters in their character career. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, they put out, like, we have all these stats. You guys are fucking boring. That was hilarious. Come on, players, try some new shit. Blade Runner, is it Snatcher? Metacritic score 80%, middle of the road game in terms of reviews. Hmm. Hmm. What era of games is this, anyway? Still think Sleeping Dogs? Police Knots? I have zero clue. I'm gonna try Sleeping Dogs, because I thought that for a second, too. Part of me feels like we had that before, but we did not. Well recognized. 
Good shit, Samantha. Well done, Caldera. Sleeping Dogs. I streamed this game. I beat this game on stream. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Samantha, you guys fucking hated it. <laughs> you guys really disliked this game by the second half. I remember this game partly because I had so many debates with myself about, should I just quit streaming it? People really didn't like it. Something about the viewing experience did not connect with like half or more of this audience. But anyway, Sleeping Dogs is a good game. If you like sort of GTA and martial arts and open world games, it's, it's not a perfect game or anything, but it is very worth it on a sale. I bet it goes on sale often. Check it out sometime if you don't know it. Let's do one more. Textures look somewhat high res compared with the incredibly low res polygon geometry. Um, could that mean an MMO? <laughs> to save on processing or something? What is this? Halo 2? I could believe Halo 2. Older Zelda? Hmm. This looks HD. No, it doesn't need to be HD necessarily. Could be like Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword. Probably Skyward Sword out of the two of those, maybe. Trico Colossus, Wii Tennis. Those leaves are upsetting you, why? Twilight Princess, your gut's Twilight Princess. Two Mirrors, good guess. Let's try Twilight Princess. We have a few guesses for that. I can believe it. Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. There are two written here. They appear to be the same. No. Metacritic score, 95%. Halo 2? Halo 2 has a 95? Hmm. It is Halo 2. Apparently Halo 2 had garbage leaves. Have you played it recently? Halo 2 is a hideous game that doesn't hold up that much. Like, you can enjoy it, but it's... <laughs> it has aged. Such is the fate of games. I'm not trying to rip on Halo 2, I just mean... <laughs> this is what it looked like. <laughs> it's the eyes. Samantha, another three up, another three down, 315 played, 315 won, 315 current streak, 315 max streak, 100% win rate. Oh, it feels good. We didn't add to our first image guesses, but we're still 100% winners. Good shit. Good shit. Tried to LASO that game so the leaves looked familiar. Halo 2 took the plot off the effing rails. It's the one I liked the least. Reach 1 and Halo 3 were all more enjoyable. Yeah, I remember liking uh, Halo 3 the most out of them, I think. I think that's right. Halo 2 was poopy, boring, burn, bum, bum. I see why people liked it, and I enjoyed the experience. So I'm <laughs> probably more positive than you, but... Recognize the younger Commander Keys, because I'm a lore nerd. Reach was perfect. Reach is the one that ends where you just, like, hold out as long as you can, right? That's Reach. Yeah. Yep. Reach is incredible. Rip Jorge. Halo 2 is my first game, so I only like it for nostalgia. I think I did like Reach quite a bit. Sometimes I confuse it and ODST. And I didn't really like ODST. I mean, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I, it's low down on my list of Halo games. Reach was great, but also my entry to the series, so heavily biased, that's fair. Noble Six. Halo 2 was when Xbox Live really started to be a thing, uh, important in that regard. Samantha, flawless victory, as ever. I'm so proud of all of you. Well done, team. Give yourselves a round of applause, and let's get back to the darkest dungeon. Thank you, Moonlight Syndrome, for your song, Epilogue. When we left off, I still hadn't gotten back to Veteran for a second try at it. And today, we're going to try and take on the apprentice level boss that I failed to even reach last time. While we do that, in case we get to a point tonight where we're feeling confident enough to go back to Veteran, or at least to prepare for future streams when I will go back to Veteran, we need to figure out what a good team of four to prep is. 
because I am not going to look through every single like fucking accessory I have. It's going to be easier if I know what four people I'm bringing and just worry about gearing them up. And then we'll gear up more people as we need. Praise from Papa. Hydra's proud of us. You earned it. Is it true they took this game off Steam? Which game off Steam? Darkest Dungeon or Halo 2 or what? Darkest Dungeon is still on Steam. Let me share with you yes. the terrible wonders. Pretty sure the Master know. Chief Collection is... Yeah, the Master Chief Collection is still on Steam, which has Halo 2. No, it's still on Steam. You're good. Yo, you, you may be thinking of Dark and Darker. Dark and Darker was taken off Steam because they're being sued by their former employers for stealing intellectual property. Um... Allegedly. I have nothing more to say about it, because there isn't a lot of info out, and it kind of just looks like Nexon bullying some people that quit. But I don't know any facts. So I'm not going to say more. I'm just like, no worries. Can I have a quick story update, please? Um, our granddad, uh fucked, sucked, and drank his way through every venial sin he could imagine, and tiring of those, dug down deep into the ground and unleashed an ancient evil, and fucked this entire hamlet, and now we're trying to fix it up. Uh, that's literally as far as the plot has gotten. Because I have only managed to defeat minor bosses and been turned back from veteran the one time I tried. Oh, to fuck, suck, and drank. Food time, BRB, may bagel toast lead you to victory. Hey, what is up, Endgame? Good to see you. Oh my god, I remembered last time you were here that you were rebranding, and I went to your page, and I committed it to memory, in case this happened again, and I've already forgotten. I'm so sorry. Well, Endgame GF will get you all to her channel right now, Samantha, and I recommend you go follow her. Didn't notice you could name your guys? Hell yes, you can. Actually, well, uh, let me check. Do I need to turn that on? Do we have anyone unnamed? Aegon's un- No, Aegon is named. Someone named them Aegon, because it was supposed to be Aegon the Conqueror and we couldn't fit it. What's your favorite name? Samantha. Samantha. What's my favorite name out of all the names that we've given characters? I'm tempted to say Hot Deli, because Hot Deli content was so popular, but... I think it's actually driver's license. Out of the characters that we've named ridiculous things on stream, uh, they were a dark elf, right? In Oblivion? My first character in Oblivion was called driver's license. I hope one or both of those answer your question. <laughs> Granddaddy seems like a dick, just a bit. Everyone has names right now, I think. I think so too. We'll have to wait till some people die or we get new hires to, uh, Put the, put the channel point reward back up. As someone new to the channel, who the heck is Samantha? You are. I say Samantha instead of chat. There is no particular reason. I got tired of saying the word chat about six months into streaming, five and a half years ago, and randomly decided on Samantha. So you're Samantha. Hot Deli pushed Hydro to where he is now. Big part of it, yeah. BRB renaming myself Samantha. Oh, the honor. Um, okay. So... Yeah, what's happening? Did I already put people away for their, like, treatments and stuff? What does this bottle mean? What the hell does that bottle mean? What? That doesn't mean they're in for, like, treatments and things. This means they're in the party. Oh, they are committed for treatments. These three are getting... Conditions and quirks removed, that's what it is. Is there anyone who needs to be treated for a certain level of stress? There are a couple people up there, but honestly not like that bad. Honestly not that bad. Okay, I think we can just go out into the wide, unfettered world and uh, narrow and fetter it. No, uh, go. I think we can go do a mission Slay the boss. It strikes me, I d do not know what these numbers mean. I actually don't know what those mean. I hope they're not important. 
Kill the Siren, medium, apprentice level one. What's like the strongest team I could put together right now? Am I like ready to go after? We could have a Crusader tank. Am I ready to go after the boss here? Or do I need to spend a mission letting people cool off? Where's my healer? Fire lobber, you're already in there. Chloe with strap. Named after someone's daughter. <laughs> okay, anyway. Chloe with strap. Now I need some serious damage. Could be bong waterer. Uh, can you sit in the second position? You cannot. Nor can you really, can you? Because inspiring tune, which is a large part of why I bring you, only works in the last two positions. That's rough. That's rough stuff. Good stuff. Bingus craves violence. What was Bingus's role again? We can bring Bingus as our healer. Why do you prefer to be in second position? What's the reason for that? Because you have hands from the abyss, which is in the front two positions. And doesn't move you backwards. That's weird for an occultist, but okay. That's very weird. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and bring Bingus for you, but I think we're gonna need to change some of Bingus's skills a little bit. Uh, finally, that damage, that damage I was looking for, that damage, who's got that damage? Do you do damage? Do you do lots of damage? Do you murder? Do you kill? Do you maim? Do you slash? Do you crush? You have attacks called Iron Swan and stuff like that, I like that. But that's only used in the first position. Breakthrough, moves forward, and can be used all the way to the back. Bleed out, also in the first position. Are Hellions tank characters? If it bleeds, hits the middle. Barbaric Yop. Stun. Self minus 20%. Uh huh. I don't completely understand this mix of skills. Yeah, I don't get it. Alright, hang on. Let's read through these once anyway. See if just reading them all helps me out. Not everyone can be a top hydro. Some people can top from the bottom. <laughs> there are two somethings in something something. I didn't ask, Hydra and Samantha, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I slept until noon today. Because I lay down in bed at like three in the morning. And then instead of falling asleep, I read Ranma one half comics for like 90 more minutes, maybe two hours. I'm testing out a comic book archive reader on my, my phone. Because I was tempted the other day to buy a tablet and try reading some comics or mangas again, because the one time I owned a tablet, that was the one thing I used it for, but I quite enjoyed that. So I put some on my phone to see if that would do a good enough job and stop me buying another gadget I don't need. And it's doing well enough that I can't stop reading good old Ranma mangas. It's the nostalgia that's getting me. That was the first of any, you know, like anime or, or manga I ever saw it was Ranma. Well, plotting and scheming. You got your first Valorant days today, G fucking G! Hell yeah, Artemis! I've played a little Valorant, and by a little I mean like, I don't know, 15, 20 hours, maybe a little more. I've never gotten one. That's a huge achievement, well done. Hellions are really only good in the first two positions, great against characters that can bleed, non-skeletons, great against bosses. Started reading to uh, To Your Eternity, Pain Olympics. Skeletons, that's actually an interesting idea. Where am I going? The Cove, the Cove won't be skeletons. So, they're worth reading, because things here will probably bleed. Let's do that reading I talked about. All right, Wicked Hack. Decent accuracy. Th this is a high damage normal swing. Iron Swan. This is only in first position, and it only hits the last position. It is similar to this. It is a decent accuracy, high damage swing. But it's... That's very limiting. Um, Barbaric Yop. High accuracy, but deals no damage. Stuns the front two targets, but it lowers their damage and speed. If it bleeds, hits the middle two ranks um, for six points of bleed, which is good. It's not just like a one point of bleed per turn. Uh, it also deals some damage. If it bleeds, looks pretty good. Breakthrough is a way to move himself forward that deals... What does this do? Accuracy-based damage mod, half damage to the front three, also low chance of crit, 
debuffs themselves a little bit. Here's a question I have, pomegranates. Is there any way to tell how long a debuff or a buff applied by one of these things lasts? Unless it's a bleed that says something like two points for three rounds, is there any way to tell without using it? Because I will never remember, and this could be really bad if it stacks, if it lasts for like three turns and it keeps stacking. What's up, Arnav? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good one, friend. Can't confirm he was born without legs. He has no legs. Oh, that's, yes, true. I carry myself around in my arms. That's why they're jacked. He's actually four foot nine. What the fuck? I'm telling all my secrets. I've sent I've sent you photo proof that I'm six feet tall. Hydra currently not seeing our conversation. La mayonnaise. Glad to catch a stream. 1 a.m. Let's go. Thank you for staying up. I hope you're having a good evening. Hydra has no idea. Hydra thinks we're here to watch Darkest Dungeon. I don't know. Legless man. I haven't played this game. Iron Swan makes the Hellion drop back in the formation. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. And then you use Breakthrough to get back. Iron Swan doesn't move you. As someone that's seen Hydro IRL, come on! Katie Cole has vouched for me. He's 10 foot 9, get it right? Will someone tell me if there's any way to tell how long this lasts? There's no way. Thank you, Casual Hobo. That sucks, but I appreciate knowing. Most of them are 2 to 3 rounds, though. All right. Adre what else does this do? Debuff self, and then it's like, yeah, a bunch of damage to the front lines. Adrenaline rush, self, cure blight, bleed, heal HP, bonus damage, bonus accurate. This sounds interesting. Let's unlock a couple skills and bring them. It's not just because I'm tired of reading that. They do sound interesting. So I don't think I want Iron Swan in your mix, but I do like the idea of Adrenaline Rush, so we'll bring that. I kind of like Barbaric Yop, but what else would I replace? Bleed Out probably, because that's the front row and you're not gonna be front row. Do I mean Barbaric Yop or do I mean if it bleeds? Let's try if it bleeds. Let's bring that. Um. And we're going against a boss, so I might as well upgrade the ones you're going to use. You're going to bring Wicked Hack. You're going to bring If It Bleeds. You're going to bring Adrenaline Rush. And you're going to bring Breakthrough. Can I upgrade the guild at all out of curiosity? Oh, I can. Skill upgrades and reduce cost of training. I can do both. Every creature has a weakness. The wise hero trains for what she will face. Okay. This person can't actually buy upgrades, but I'm sure making them cheaper is going to be useful soon, so let's just buy that now. You'll show me how much they are. They're 600 even with the discount I just bought. Uh, before I forget, let's equip Bong Waterist's new skills. So we're taking this off. We're taking Iron Swan off. If it bleeds, an Adrenaline Rush. Perfect. They prefer to be in the second position. That which was what we wanted. Which was what we wanted. You've got no upgraded abilities either. Why am I like this? You've got Smite, which is your normal attack, essentially. You have Stunning Blow. Good. You have Bulwark of Faith. Good. Battle Heal might be the last one I want you to have. Holy Lance. And that moves you forward. Interesting. Interesting. I've not been bringing a lot of that kind of utility. But, you know, we might get shuffled a bunch. Who knows? For now, though, let's hope we don't get shuffled a bunch and just, just, let's just, let's just go on hope. Why not? Why the fuck not? Work of Faith and Battle Heal. Is that what you have equipped? Yes, it is. Bingus, get on the block. Bingus, you have Weakening Curse. Okay, I definitely want Weird Reconstruction. Hands from the Abyss is when you're in front. You're not going to use that. Instead, you're going to get Abyssal Artillery, Sacrificial Stab. You're standing right at the back in my current formation, right? Chloe, where do you stand right now? You're standing there so you can bleed things. Right. Right, right, right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Accuracy up, crit mod up. This like barely changes, but it's a very cheap upgrade, so. Very cheap upgrade. 
Yes, Christian. I started the RE4 remake last Saturday for my um, sixth year stream anniversary and foolishly thought I was going to beat it in one stream because I did not realize that there were some changes from the original game, which I've also played. <laughs> but we got a good ways into it. And now that last night I beat Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, we're going to be mixing that in. So sometime during the week next week, we should have more RE4 remake. Yeah, as he played it, played it the other day. It was a fun stream. We did a super long stream about, yeah, it was almost 10 hours. I meant for it to go longer, but <laughs> the game was demoralizing me because I just got to the castle. I thought I'd beat it, and I just got to the castle in that time. <laughs> awesome possum. John Wick 4 was good. I have never seen a John Wick movie. It's another one of those movies I keep going, I should see that, and I, and I never have. That moves you forward, which I hate. Do you have any attacks that don't move you? This fucking bard with his power to move you. Buff target with speed, accuracy, and crit. Huh. Buff self finale. What? what how does finale work? Hang the fuck on. Finale... Use per battle 1, finale 1, melee back 3, accuracy 140, damage mod plus 50, crit mod plus 5. Okay, so fuck tons of damage. Minus 25 dodge, plus 3 speed, plus 100% stress. What? Okay. And I then I assume... You're, you're, you're in, like, finale mode for a turn, and you get the extra finale parts of the... I don't understand how this works. It's not totally clear to me. I think we just should just, should just test it. Was Wolong Long hard after playing Elden Ring? Um, it was easier, but it was very different, and I had to get used to playing it. It was definitely easier. But not easy. Sorry, I have a schedule. My schedule's probably changing soon. Right now, I've been streaming most days out of, like, Monday through Thursday on Twitch, and then Sundays on YouTube. But, Samantha, I think as of next week, we'll be changing to two or three days per week on Twitch, but I'm going to be trying to do longer streams, because I find them more enjoyable. I haven't finalized this, because I'm still procrastinating, but I'm thinking, like, Tuesday and Thursday... And then, I don't know, uh, regularly we'll add either Wednesday or Friday. This is the shit I haven't decided. And probably starting 30 minutes to an hour earlier, 6 or 6.30, and going a bit later, too, whenever I can. Um, and then maybe Saturday and Sunday on YouTube so I can get through this randomizer at some point. <laughs> I feel like I'm moving so slowly through it, though part of that is not finding the items I need. Anyway, that, that's weekend business. That's YouTube business. Um, yeah, I think we're going to move in that direction next week. So I would probably expect Tuesday and Thursday here on Twitch. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday? I really should have decided by now. Anyway. It's roughly that. <laughs> Fucking hell. I like this character and I don't know how to use them. I wish I knew how to use them. Alright, uh, Battle Ballad sounds really good. I'm gonna buy an upgrade Battle Ballad. Where they're standing, Slice Off is useful. And then Finale, Forward 3, but you've got nothing that backs you up. In fact, you only... Oh, no, no, Finale is backwards three. Solo is forwards three. My mistake. My mistake. Solo. Accuracy, no damage. Self, mark, 20 dodge. 75% damage, 8% crit. So you build towards Finale then? Huh. Very odd. Really weird. I'm frightened of trying to use that, is the honest truth. Just straight up scared of trying to use that. Battle Ballad 2, Slice Off. Yeah, we're taking Harvest off and putting Battle Ballad in, right? Now you've got all twos. Okay, did I upgrade everybody's abilities that I wanted to? No, I didn't do Bingus's. All right, Bingus. Sacrificial Stab, Abyssal Artillery. You're going to be standing in the back, so we're going to buy that just because it's something you can use. Weakening Curse isn't bad. 
And hands from the abyss, demons pull. There we go. Quick decisions made. Done. Thanks for your patience, Samantha. Let's go kill the siren. Y'all got Good Friday off as a holiday at all? I happen to, but it's not a given in the US. I don't know if it's more common or less common, but it's not a given in the US. Let's provision this team. Thanks for the info. Got to run. Have a wonderful evening or rest of your time zone, whatever time it is, Christian DeLarge. Guys are going on a lunch date. Who's going on a lunch date? What's happening? Oh, our lunch date at Lucali's. How could I forget? That seemed so, so blasé of me. So I can't think of the right word of me. Horrible of me. Yeah, of course. It's on my calendar. All right. Um, this is a medium mission. I need lots of food. We're gonna take two full stacks of food. We're gonna bring three shovels. We're gonna bring three keys. We're gonna bring... I ran out of bandages last time. You can heal bleeding, right? No, I'm thinking of the plague doctor. I keep confusing them and the occultist. Occultist, which is bad of me. So we need plenty of bandages. We'll bring five bandages. Can you cure anything? No, good. Can you? Excellent. <laughs> Crap. We're going into fish. I actually think fifth fish blight more. I need some of these things. I'm sort of just guessing. I don't actually remember much of what happens here. Let's go and hope for the best. This is the problem with taking too many days off. Always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets. Had no heels last time. Where is here? We're going down to the cove after the siren. One precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every. When you go there, there becomes here. Here becomes there. It was charming then. Oh, you were asking Arna where here is. Excuse me. I just said a sentence that ended with here before and assumed you were talking to me. Happens a lot. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. I hate this map. This is a hideous map. The boss is not going to be in this little area here, and we're not here to loot. We're here to win, so let's just go forward from the start. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Speed, accuracy, crit. Give that to the Hellion. Oh, it's everybody. I didn't read that. That's way better. I considered that worth it when it was one target. What's up, Mr. Mostache? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Thursday, friendo. Breakthrough damages everyone. Debuff self. Wicked hack. If it bleeds. This will deal four to eight damage and bleed it. Bleed could finish it. He's only a five. 40% bleed debuff. Try and bleed this one. Because bleed will get past prot, I expect. That's what we're hoping for. So now that snail will die next turn no matter what, and won't leave a corpse. Explain prot. Prot reduces the damage and attack deals. It seems like it's pretty severe in its effects. So something with like five prot. It feels like it cuts my damage in half, but I don't actually know the calculations. A faint hope blossoms. I'm probably giving you those numbers emotionally and exaggerating how much of an effect it has. Oh, it's actually in a percentage. I was thinking of a different uh, stat, apparently. Prot is a percentage. So I, I believe this reduces Prot 75% down there. Damage by 75%. 
That's my guess. I love this music. Yes, short for protection. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, let's take another chance to de-stress someone. I believe we'll kill them this round. We might take an extra hit from someone, but, you know. Yeah, actually, that was probably the wrong decision. I probably should have tried killing someone, but whatever. We can incurse this. It's likely to go next. How dare you. How dare you get your slimy tentacles all over him. Oh, that man. He tries to get his testicles all over me. He, sorry, he what? He's, uh, how you say, octopus. Tentacles. Tentacles. Very different. What is the name of that movie? But a victory, nonetheless. It's got John Cusack. Does anyone know what I'm quoting? <laughs> I feel like I saw that two or three times over summers as a kid, edited on Comedy Central, but I forget the title of it now. Is it better off dead? As the light gains purchase. Oh hey. Spirits are lifted. What did you do get switched? I wasn't even paying attention. Made clear. Again. Surprise this time. Who can we kill before this shit gets out of hand? Ten health, fourteen health. What does your bleed do? Three points for three rounds? Bleed this guy. Okay, so he's gonna be at seven. You can... Eh. You can debuff yourself doing that. Eh. I'm actually not sure what the best choice there was. Impressive. That means the guy in the third rank is dead when their turn comes up. Fantastic. Hmm. Back to the pit. Yes, Bingus. Fuck. That was upsetting. Interesting team you're running. I know nothing about this game. We actually need to figure out what team we should be bringing to veterans so I can start prepping that team. First of all, Samantha, who is the best tank? And let's cross Crusader off right now, because I suck with Crusaders. It's the only class I've gotten killed, and I've gotten two of them killed. So we're not bringing a Crusader. I don't know how to use them. Oh, but Hydra, you should learn. I've proven I can't. I kind of like the man at arms because of his retaliate. I don't know if that means he's got like less health or less protection than some of the other options and therefore is harder to work with. I just focused on how much I like his retaliate, so I like him. This moves you forward. I want you to move forward. Um, You know what? Just wicked hack this one and start working on it. Slay Bangus. Was that a pomegranate? I mean, it's a discussion. Wait, actually, how about this? Pomegranates, are there like known bests or is it a matter of opinion? Is this game shit and have awful balance and you could just tell me what the best tank is if I asked? Or is it all a matter of opinion? Because I thought this would be a discussion. But maybe I'm mistaken. What is the meta? I always find myself hesitant to use Breakthrough. Probably because of the forward one. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have brought that, or maybe I should just get over that fear. Surges as the enemy crumbles. But I, just, I never feel like using that. Probably should have used that in the surprise round. Six, you've got uh, like three damage per turn, I believe. Their formation is Die broken. that way then. Maintain the offensive. Depends on which you ask. I think they all have their uses depending on how you set up the party. Some people hate the leper because he can't hit back. 
Oh, hit the back row. Infect pain and rain down violence. All right, Samantha, well, what are your favorites? Speaking of not being able to hit the back row. All right, heal someone. You poor, poor limited tank. I do like the leper. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, I feel like I'm getting slowly through encounters. But our stress is fine, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is fine. We require Man at Arms Leper and Hellion work for main tank for me. I do like Man at Arms. We should check the level of our Man at Arms and see if they're near ready to go into serious veteran encounters. Or if I haven't been leveling them. Hey! Good shit! Resist Blight, Bleed, Disease, and Debuff. I love it. I hate it. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Didn't add Crusader because you keep killing them? Thank you. Yes, we shouldn't be adding Crusader. Partial to Crusader, it's gonna die. And Man at Arms because of the stuns, and I don't care for Leper because he has low accuracy. Four to six, eight. If you hit six, that's amazing, but I doubt you will. Let's just do... Accidentally right-clicked. Let's just do that. Get everyone ready for this fight to go a few rounds, not try to skip through in one. Three to six. That would leave you with five. You're bleeding for like two or three, I think three. So, I would need to hit the higher end to kill you. It's the only thing that reaches there, right? Other than another bleed. Ah, do it. Do it. It's a lot of damage altogether, just do it. Kind of light damage on everyone. That's annoying. Definitely been stabbed in the back by leper misses. And improvement. But gambling's cool, right? Who doesn't like a random schedule of reinforcement? Psychologically, it's the best way to addict yourself. We could get addicted to the leper. Is there anything wrong with that? he didn't get bled by that too Jesus that was annoying how much damage does this actual attack do 4 to 8 it bleeds for 2 points per round uh could you please hit for 6, 7 or 8 here no okay that sucks we're getting wrecked by these regular ass fish. That feels awful. The slow death. Finally. Unforeseen. Wrecked by regular Forgiven. ass fish. But finally one's dead. Nine wrecked by regular ass fish. Uh, for this game, <laughs> not you wouldn't see these if you went to the seaside, but regular for the for the cove in Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> Highly irregular. Forward one. Wait, you can't move back. What? Is that a Hellion thing? Why can't you move back? That's weird. Okay. What's up, Fenry? Good to see you. How's the dungeon going? It was going okay up until a second ago, and now it's just a little bit on the rocks. 
That heal helps a huge amount, though. That's very, very nice to get. That's not bad either. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Well, that was rather an awkward fight. Default party order. Oh, okay. I thought it was grayed out. It just took a second to occur. You have, like, resistance to blights and things, right? Would you please be the one to open this? Thank you. Very kind of you, Bong Waterist. I do love the animation of the leper getting hit, though. Homie takes it like a champ. It's one of my favorite pieces of art in this game. I agree wholeheartedly. Literally takes it on the chest. Um, let's see. Let's just pop one now and pick this up. The promise of safety. Only like one curio has given me anything, and it was 150 gold. Trinket? God, I haven't even started looking at trinkets. The first veteran mission I went on, the only veteran mission I've gone on, the game had to warn me, like, you should double check you have trinkets on everyone, and I sort of randomly assigned them because I didn't want to read things. I'm doing my best, but there is a truth here that this game might be too slow and thoughtful for me. Weirdly, I love Civilization, but many slow and thoughtful games are hard for me. Maybe it's because I learned Civ off stream. Your light is high, so less rewards. We're probably not changing that, however. Fuck, man. 14 health, 14 health. Huh. I've locked the other one. Whatever. Okay. You want to bleed that dude to get past his prot? Thank you. Fucking hell. I've not been keeping track, but I feel like I'm getting hit more often, much harder than usual. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. That was always a chance to occur. Remember when I got Civ 3 as a kid, read the entire manual, and the thing was huge? Is the streaming aspect stopping you from using Google like you normally would? No, I probably wouldn't Google. I might, but probably not. I just don't feel like stopping and reading because I get self-conscious about how long it takes me to consider something. God damn it, Bingus! Fucking Bingus! How could you do this to him? Bingus, come on, man. You're making us look bad. Now we're just caught on the back foot, spending two of our characters' turns healing every time. This is awful. Injury. We're almost now certainly not making it to the Siren this time, though we do have a camp yet to go. Shit. How much damage can you deal to him? 4 to 7 out of 14, he's bleeding for 3 damage to 11 to get him to die. You can't possibly do that. Um, 6 to 11, bleeding for 2, you can't get him to die unless you get one of your top two numbers. Seems unlikely, but yeah, swing. So close. So close. Heal her. For a bigger number. In the fevered pitch of battle.
more of that. More of them dodges. Lots of dodges, please. Sick dodges. Left and right, everybody dodge. Crit heal is good too. Pleased with that. All right, I can finish you off. And at least one enemy is now dead. Going for him, great. And you bled him, great. Just great. This is three per round, so you're gonna die in two. You're already bleeding. Feels like I'm rolling terribly. Is my strategy worse than usual, or am I just rolling terribly? I, get, I expect my strategy is not good. I was just telling you how little I've paid attention to this game. But it's usually gone better than this. What the fuck's happening right now? Is there a new character name? No, there is not. <laughs> that person's gonna die of bleeding anyway. A valiant effort, but it means nothing. What a romantic gesture, Pelagic Guardian. You must really love the Pelagic Grouper. What a romantic gesture. Slowly. Two down. This is how a life is taken. Seven, three to five. God damn your prot, man. God damn your prot. My good friend has a special interest in one of the Mech Warrior games on Steam, and the one mechanic equipment screen has so much stuff on it, it makes me blue screen. But if you ask me to recount the long lineage and intricate blood connection of all the local stray cats, I'm on it. <laughs> we, we all have our special interests. That's hilarious. That's fantastic. Good crit! Excellent job, Chloe! When will you die? You fuck? The wounds of war can be healed. Such a sad little heal. Never hidden. Such a sad one. Okay. Can I please kill this thing? Destroy. Holy shit, Chloe. You got some anger in you. Thank you. At long goddamn last. Thank you. Everyone have some food because you're all fucking hurt. And partly because I need to make space. All right, pick one of those up. And then, what else can I, like, use or get rid of? Uh, a journal page. Everyone back in order. It's unlocked, so we don't need a skeleton key. Son of a bitch, man. Son of a bitch. Here, just put this on. You don't even have a movement skill, do you? Whatever. Oh, okay, that was rough. We don't have a lot left to go, however. And we do still have our camp. Our stress isn't high, so I'm tempted not to camp yet, but to try to do one more room. I'm not sure that's super wise, but I've clicked, so it's happening. Another mariner, another misfortune. Barnacle crusted. Do, do I need keys for these? Yeah, okay. That one just didn't say it was unlocked, and so I doubted myself. Trinkets and baubles. Oh, Christ. Paid for in blood. 375 gold each. Get out of here, Jade. You get out of here. We'll come back with an antiquarian to make money at some point. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Anyone waiting for us in here? No. Okay. 
dare we go another? I really want to like get a scout at one of these rooms, but apparently no one here looks ahead. What are you guys doing down here with the fish? Hello? A decisive pummeling. All right, all right, all right. Damn, I was hoping to get one more chance to tag him and kill him before he went. Stupid ranged characters being so fast. Can you retreat mid-battle? Yes, you can. Camp, whip out the guitar and let's sing. Oh damn, I meant actually to look at everyone's camp skills when we were at that point where I was buying everyone's skills at the guild hall and I totally forgot to go look at those. Shit. Two for three rounds, adrenaline rush. 12, how much damage do you deal with these guys? Five to 10? Kinda wish I'd bought you a stun. That's on me though. The siren's not a bleed enemy. Shit, fuck, hell, damn crap. Good heal. Good heal that didn't even bleed someone. Good heal. Death See ya. Inches. See ya. One to go! We're still gonna spend our time healing. And a little de-stressing. Our stress has actually been fine. No one's even risen to halfway at any point. It's just our health's been a huge goddamn problem. I'm not taking care of these people. But never hidden. Starting to look better. I was hoping that we were gonna get to go before he did. Teach me to fucking hope. Kill him. All right. We ended up slightly better than when we went into that fight. Slightly. Slightly. We're at about the same sort of health setup, but we're in better, um, Got better stress across characters. Resist, good shit. This isn't a fight either. At this point, I should probably camp. Yes? Is there a reason to push it further? Is there? There kind of is. There's no reason to camp before you need to. You know what? The reason to camp is the danger that I'll run into the siren without being ready. I'll run into the siren without camping. Should probably camp for that reason. Hmm. Hey, what's it, Easy? Good to see you. Happy Thursday, friend. Oh, I hope you're doing well. What are you doing down here with the fish? Oh, uh, fishing. Question for anyone? As an adult, how do you make friends? Shared interests, generally. Shared interests are places you're forced to spend time together, like work. Coming out of this with health at net positive, let's go! You know the saying, man, put hope in one hand and the darkest dungeon in the other and tell me which one weighs more. Why not nap when you can nap? Uh, we probably should. I'm gonna guess the siren's here just because that's the furthest, deepest reaches of the dungeon, but I don't know that. I could be surprised, so I'm gonna camp. Top everyone's health off, eat while we have the food. And Stuff like that. Rats in a maze. Now we're all in excellent condition, so I can check their skills for like buffs and things that I can take into the boss, which I usually skip in favor of things like de-stress, extra heal, stop from being uh, surprised, though I would like to Unbreakable Commune will stop me from being surprised. I can't get ambushed overnight. Anyone else got something that stops me from being ambushed? 
Self only minus stress. If afflicted minus stress. Prevents nighttime ambush. And this one adds stress. But prevents nighttime ambush. And they cost only one different. Honestly, I'll just do this one. Okay, with my remaining eight. Wound care we don't really need. Abandon hope you don't need. We don't need any of yours. Encourage we don't really need. All companions minus 15% stress for four battles. That's good. Tiger's eye, one companion, bonus accuracy and crit. Wound care, reject the gods. Self only minus stress. All companions plus stress. No. Sharpen spear, 10% crit. All right, three, three. That leaves us with two. I guess we could just do some wound care for the hell of it. Ooh, actually, you can minus stress too. Okay, so let's see. Sharpen your spear. Tiger's Eye, the Hellion. So they're crazy strong now. For four battles. And last but not least, you minus stress on yourself. Let's sleep. Who's like an okay set of buffs and skills and shit? Nice. Nice. I assume the boss is going to be this way. Let's go this way. I'll feel real stupid if I'm wrong. But actually, there's... Yeah, there it could be either. I have no idea. If I thought longer, I would have checked that little dead end while I was near it. Ah, well. Nothing ventured, no mistakes made. So I should have stayed at home, but whatever. Dickhead. How dare you? How absolutely breaks. dare you? Three damage per round, three health. So that thing's already dead. Good dodge. Fix yourself, sir. Fights more like this, please. <laughs> This is way better. Way better. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Finally have scouting. And this isn't the boss. It is down there. I'm a fucking idiot. I mistook further from my position at the moment for further from the front door and decided the likelihood of where the boss was based on that. My mistake. This is a food pickup and we don't need food because we're going to the boss, so let's not risk it. The Hello there! The You're beautiful! It's important to disarm them when you first start the encounter. And their slave. Such lovely fangs! Do you brush? That's a weird thing to say. I don't have the social skills to be disarming. Let's just fight them. Do you brush? What the hell? Do you play retro Sega games? Uh, I played them when they were new. When I was at my cousin's house who had a Sega, I only had Nintendo stuff. I've, I've played some. How retro are we talking? Okay, let's start this off with Battle Ballad. And Weakening Curse. I 119 health. Two turns per round. Please do weaken it. Shit. Good. This is our super crit character. She's gonna get it done. What's your stun resist like? Honestly, it's not terrifyingly high. Uh, let's start with Bulwark of Faith, though. Mention the nice dangly light thing on their face. It looks deliberate. I'm sure they would love you mentioning it. I love what you've done with your dangly light thing. 
wearing it forward. I know some people think it's a bit retro, but I love it. You're bringing it back. This is the three bleed, right? This is the good bleed. I mean, we don't need to heal, so let's just... This is a little damage. Keep loading in that crit. Keep loading in that crit. He didn't dodge that time. No, that's my high damage character. Okay. Can you stun them? It's not even telling me stats. <laughs> How well do you resist stun? Would you tell me for old time's sake we used to be on the same team? Shit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck me. No, your abilities move you back again. That's annoying. Very annoying. I, I love the color of your conch that made us bleed. I'm beyond trying to compliment them, though. Thank you for the suggestions. What the fuck is this? A momentary abatement. Mmm. Thank you! Thank god they didn't throw a single attack during that time. Good, 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 good. I thought because they didn't dodge, that was definitely going to happen. There's a dodge and a chance to resist. Good, 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 good. That's Siren. It's like me IRL and then me when I'm taking selfies for internet use. Bastard. Guard against non-physical attacks, too. I think I knew that, but I, I had momentarily forgotten. That's on me. I can make you bleed, because you're going to block that. Twenty-three only. Still twenty-three. <laughs> Still at twenty-three. <sighs> and bleed just wore off now that they're right at the back. Do that more often. <laughs> Just make her heal every turn that you've got her. And then send her back over here full. Lots more of that, please. I appreciate it. That would be better if you just took a different character from me, probably. 
Get the bleed? No. They don't have a rising bleed resistance, do they, in this kind of game? Uh, you're gonna guard your friend, aren't you? Nine health, four to six. You're gonna guard your friend, aren't you? And then I'm not gonna be able to finish them off easily. Or maybe. A devastating blow. Maybe you're way too slow to guard your friend. Easy game. As victories stun stones. So too will resistance. Good shit, Samantha. Good shit. GG. Very rare. Antiquarian plus 15 per, uh, 50% healing skills? Does the Antiquarian have healing skills? Oh, we've got a brand new veteran, Resakai Truck, who's also a nervous bleeder. So it swings and roundabouts, ups and downs. It's a real roller coaster of emotion. Very little is unequivocally good. The Abbey's masonry fares no better than the faith of its congregation. Shit. Indeed, the elements have not been kind to the old Abbey. The very soil itself seems to reject the place. Work is expected to last through the week. Cloister is locked. Transept costs minus 50%. Penance Hall costs minus 50%. So, fewer people can go there, but it will be cheaper. Good shit. We removed a bunch of quirks and various things and... Some people leveled and stuff happened. All right. All right, okay, all right. Okay, all right, okay. That's good. Reduces treatment costs. Is there anything else that uses those? It's like each thing uses a different first and the same second, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to eventually unlock, like, more treatment spaces is sort of the important thing. Can I can I do that in the transept, please? Thank you. Is never without worth. Good stuff. All right, who actually needs these services, however? That's the important thing. Dangly Lighting and Conch were only so-so. <laughs> Antiquarian is like a one-to-one -one heal at level one, I think. Well, now it will be 1.5 to 1.5. The difference between the first and the second number is whether you get it rounded up to two or not. I guess we should take a look at the Antiquarian. Uh, no one really came out of that that stressed. You are diseased, however. How serious is that disease and how much does it cost to cure? 910 to cure gray rot. We cure the gray rot. In you go! We should continue curing people where possible as well. Except it's so fucking expensive, dude. It's so insanely expensive to cure these big ones. Ugh. Ugh. This is probably where I should have spent my busts, actually. Reduce the disease treatment cost. We should do that. We should do that. 12 busts. Did I trade deeds for it? How bad an idea is that? Trade, trade deeds for busts. I need what, 12 of them? This is gonna be way too expensive. 18 deeds, actually, I mean, I got a lot of deeds. That worth it? Reduce treatment cost by 13%, so it would take like 500 gold off of the heavy treatment cost. Hey, that's significant. Really enjoy your streams. It's a bummer they start so late for us Norwegians. Have you considered showing cleavage to get more viewers and potentially to get a stream full time? I used to be a shameless jawline streamer to bring people in, you know, just to see me. But um, I've since grown a beard and matured as a person and decided that I want people to come for my mind. To be clear, though, watch all the jawline and titty streamers you want, Samantha. They're fantastic people. That's the content you want. Go for it. Don't ever, ever look down on them. Deeds are also needed, though, probably. Hope your views pick up naturally soon. They will in time. He's got his wrist that he teases us with. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, I am going to buy this. Fuck it. Give me these, give me these fucking things. 
curious methodologies and apparatus. How much does it cost now? Can calm even the most tormented soul. It's still 5,600. What? Was it e even more than that before? Was it 6,000 before? No, this doesn't seem like it's gotten cheaper. Reduces disease treatment cost. Do I need to, like, refresh this thing? Or go away. It didn't look like it had gotten cheaper. Oh, because I was looking at quirks. I'm stupid. That's okay. The disease one will save me money over time, but it's not the one I meant to buy. Hmm. No one honestly needs treatment, but I might as well send them in because it's cheap. Might as well take advantage of it while it's cheap. Is that the right way to think about this? Like, they're so low, they'll get it back from camping. Like, no one's even at half. Edgelord, maybe, should go in. Or Bongwaterers at four. Feels like a waste. Feels like a waste. Hmm. You know we come for the jawline and the quick wit. Weren't you voted best jawline on Twitch six times? Have we even discussed the luxurious voice yet? No, you upgraded the disease one, not the quirk one. New York's expenses, so I wonder how many viewers it would take to stream full time. I tried doing the math once, it's almost impossible to tell because different streamers are going to have a different proportion of subs and donations and other things, but it would be a significant amount. Samantha, you don't need to worry yourself about any of that. I just want you to enjoy the stream. Stream the videos, the shorts, whatever you like. I just want you to enjoy it. Always miss the first hour or so while I drive home from work, but I was very surprised you didn't have a bigger following when I stumbled into your shorts. You certainly deserve a bigger following. You're all very kind to say so. I think if I deserved a bigger following, I'd probably have one. But I'm getting better as an entertainer. I journal all of my streams and talk to myself about what I want to improve on. And it's made positive differences. Viewerships are likely to grow. Don't worry yourself about it. St I stumbled into Hydra's shorts once. They're talking about something else, Cece. Don't bring that up now. I've just been opening and closing things without thinking about what I'm doing. Um. Oh, we were supposed to talk over, like, what a good team is. And we didn't. So I don't know what a good team is. Dare I go into another veteran mission? Resakai truck is ready, but crusaders always die. Uh. Spyro, you're a bounty hunter, not a man at arms. You're the Hound Master. Where's the Man-at-Arms? Sassafras. You're only level one, dude? I want to take you places, but you're only level one, dude? This fucking guy. Shit. Hmm. Awkward. Awkward stuff. Feels like we should do a little more leveling so that I can bring... Say Sassafras, because I like them, and you guys told me he's considered one of the good tanks. Feels like I should spend some time getting Sassafras ready. i are also got some real problems here, but, you know, whatever. Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Snake Man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Khajiit, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that immensely. Very, very kind of you. Good to have you here. Hope you're having a good Thursday, friendo. Do it full send. Work and stream a lot, and that can be a lot for some people. I mean, I probably should take breaks more, a little more often sometimes. I spend a lot of time video, uh, editing video, but I also do it because it's my favorite thing. Let's look at your skills. What do you have and what do you don't have? You've currently got a regular old melee attack that does good damage. You've got... What is this? It moves you forward. Causes knockback and stun. I like something that moves you forward, and it's usable in all three of the first three ranks. Low damage, high crit. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Bellow. Debuff target with dodge speed, crit received plus 5% while marked, but it doesn't mark them. Hmm. Okay. Defender, guard ally, give self prot, retribution, self repost, activates repost, marks yourself. So I like retribution. This increased the chances of things. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it does. You're definitely keeping retribution, so let's upgrade it. Command, buff a target with accuracy, crit, and bonus damage while guarded. 
Bolster, buff target with dodge and minus stress. Bellow seems easier to use. Is it good or is it just easier to use? Hmm. 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 You don't mark targets. No target. No one here marks targets. I'm sure I have someone who marks targets. I don't know who they are. So is that worthwhile? Maybe just having guard ally ready is a better idea. What does upgrading this do? It gives you more prot. Yeah, maybe just having guard ally ready is a better idea. Perfect. Perfect. You got all your upgrades here too? Perfect. Perfect. What fictional character do you most identify with? I don't know. I'm not sure. In high school, I thought I was the most empathetic person, naturally. I had a talent for empathy. All my friends would tell me their troubles. I was a shoulder to cry on. I was a stable person in their life. And then I realized that was the important thing. Because I got to college and people started having serious problems now and then. And I actually wasn't that good at understanding them or helping people with them. I was just stable because I've been very lucky in life and had a stable family and, you know, I just, just roll the dice, had a good life. And that was enough in high school, but I wasn't in college. And so I learned at that point, I'm not great at empathy and it takes me a lot of work and practice, which I have put in and continue to put in, but I'm not sure I've ever identified with a character in a book. I interest myself in them. I try to put myself in their shoes, but per I, I bring that up only because be perhaps because of that, I've never been reading a story and been like, I'm so much like this character. This is me. Never. Never, never, never. Got to bounce, read a little Miles Morales and catch some Z's. Day off tomorrow, but got to go see the lady for about 10. Be safe in that dungeon, friend. Easy. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Sleep well and sweet dreams, friendo. Okay, what's our party going to be? Uh, this is hard for me to do without seeing the party. Um, we are taking along... Sassafras is the tank. We are taking along... Edgelord for damage? Where do you like to stand, Seal, and what do you do? Oh yeah, you bleed yourself a bunch, don't you? I kind of want to give you another try. I didn't like you before, but I could bring you along with Aegon, and Aegon should be able to cure your bleeding? Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe I should bring you along again and see what you can do. Come here, Seagull. Let's we'll see if you're any good. It's suicide? Sorry, that's not where we're going. Calm down, Seagull. Calm down. Yeah, that's the party I want to bring. We'll try that party. Now, now that I know who's in the party, let's take a look at their abilities and shit. Every time I see a coyote, I think, yep, that's me. <laughs> um, all right. Do I have the abilities I want to have with you, Seagull? Punish. Accuracy, crit, bleed, four points for three rounds. Debuff target with minus bleed resist. I definitely want that. We're going to upgrade that. That sounds really good. Reign of Sorrows to hit the back line. Bleeds, three points, three rounds. Debuff target with minus bleed resist. Less damage. This also sounds really good. Reign of Sorrows, this increases just a lot of stuff. Doesn't deal more damage, but it's got a higher chance to crit. Higher chance to cause bleed. Decreases their bleed resist even more. We'll upgrade that. Can I make the guild better? Oh, I already did. It's just you're not high enough level to buy higher things. I do not have Exsanguinate. Which can only be used three times per battle. Accuracy crit. Bleed five points for three rounds. Self bonus at max HP. Minus healing skills. Minus healing received. Minus speed. So this is like... High risk, high reward... Uh, is, this is Hail Mary Bleed. 
Reclaim, heal two points per round for two rounds, and bleed three points for... Oh, this lets, you cast this on other people, don't you? Yeah. Um... <laughs> that is the same thing. Maybe it gets better later on. Hmm. Hydra reminds me of Holden Caulfield. Holden Caulfield annoyed me when I read that book. I do see why it's read so much in high schools. But as a kid, I was facing different challenges, and so I was like, shut the fuck up, guy. But it's well written, and Holden Caulfield's interesting. Just didn't appreciate it in the moment. Valid below 40% HP. Heal self for a third of max. And then, same thing. Bonus max, minus healing, minus healing received, minus speed. Okay, endure. Stress minus 10, self stress plus 10, and bonus speed. They're all a bit much. Suffer. Clear marked target. Transfer. Ooh, transfer bleed. Mark target minus stress plus 6% death blow resist. Transfer bleed, transfer blight. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. What? Interesting. Sure. Let's take you as you are. That's very weird. I think I get some of the idea, though. Do you have everything you need? We're not going to use Mace Bash. Dazzling Light. Damage mod minus 75. Crit up a bit. Stun up a bit. Torch plus 6 is the same. This gets to be a bigger heal, right? This gets to be a bigger heal, right? Improve both your heals. Improve that. Hand of Light. That's also in front. We're done. You're not going to be in front. Get your mind out of the front, Fire Lobber. You stand in the back. Lobber's in your name. You're not a close range person for us. Damage, crit, self heal. Interesting. Yeah, by judgment, we'll put judgment on too. We'll put judgment on too instead of hand of light. So I'll fall apart as soon as you're drawn to the front against my will, but why not set this up perfectly and get annoyed when it's moved around? Weren't afraid of your sister growing up and losing innocence? My sister joined my family in her 30s. She became my sister in her 30s. I missed that. I was just a younger brother to a to a, my brother for most of my life. Protagonist, the book Catcher in the Rye. The book Hitler liked. Is that some sort of gotcha? Who cares? Flagellant seems like a goaded but difficult character. He likes to complain and do stupid stuff in the book. That's all I know about it. It might be worth learning something else about it. That's a pretty weird thing to bring up in a discussion of Catcher of the, in the Rye. He's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Noxious Blast. Blight for five points, three rounds, minus accuracy. I like that. Plague Grenade. Blight's in the back for four points, three rounds. So this is front, this is back. This is stun in the back. Incision is bleed in the front. We sort of have enough bleed, thank you. Battlefield medicine, we're definitely taking this with us. Does it get better here? Heal one to two? I'll pay 200 for a chance of two, that's fine. Buff a target with bonus damage and speed. Hmm, only useful twice per battle. Disorienting blast, shuffle stun, and clear all corpses. I've been surprised how much I like this. So we'll keep that. We will also keep Backline plague, is that what I mean? Or frontline? Or a blight, rather. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do we have enough stun, or should I bring blinding gas to stun? You know what? We probably have enough damage on the front lines. Then again, it's the only thing you could do to the front lines. Maybe we should bring this. Uh, so let's bring a backline stun and frontline blight with you. Good. Good, 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 good. I like it. I think. Let's go out and level some characters up. You got two backline abilities. 
Um, I also didn't take a look at their camp abilities. I hope their camp abilities are good. <laughs> what do I need right now? I need busts and portraits. You give busts your short mission. We should do like a medium, you know, get something out of this. Long? I can't carry enough for long. How dare you try to send me on long? Kill the wizened hag. Wait, are there still apprentice bosses? Kill the wizened hag. <sighs> All right, let's kill the wizened hag. What the fuck? How many bosses are there in this game? Two stacks of food. Two and a half stacks of torches to start with. Three shovels. Three keys. We bring... Where am I going? The wield. I don't know what's in the wield. Whatever. Three bandages. No, actually, we can heal those. Two bandages is probably plenty. But we have the uh, plague doctor who can cure this shit. So let's just bring two of each. And hopefully that means we throw away less and loot way more. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't mean... We suck and die. Let's go. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties. Oh, I recognize this creature. We met them and their sisters or something in The Witcher 3 at one point. I recognize them. I'm used to this. It'll be a lot easier on me to see them in this level of graphics than in The Witcher 3. They were upsetting in that game. There is method in the wild corruption here. Hey, Grizzle. Hope you're having a wonderful day. My day's been good. I hope you're having a good day too, friend. We start right in the middle of shit. I bet they're gonna be on the left. Let's try on the left. Don't know where on the left, but we start on the left. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. There are two upcoming solar eclipses. You mentioned this in relation to Texas, because what, Texas is going to have a good view of them? That's so fucking cool. I would love to see that. I had no idea. Did I miss the veteran, or is this veteran? This isn't veteran. I suck. Get used to it. We don't have a party ready for veteran that I'm confident in. We've got a lot of veteran-level characters, but I just I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know how to use the ones I've got. Or I fear I don't know how to use the ones I've got. I'm scared is what's happening. Blight 20, Blight 10. Oh, yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. We have Blight for the front rows. And you guys probably have higher Blight resist? You do, since you're mushrooms. Um, Can you stun shovel this guy to the front? I remember him doing a lot of fucking... Yes, what is it? A lot of stress moves. And I would like him to fucking die. I don't want him around. Four points, three points, three rounds... Debuff target with minus bleed resist. We'll do this in case he goes to the back again. Damn it. Get reposted. Get reposted. Got this, Hydro? You dark that dungeon? Crossover point to the two eclipses is right outside San Antonio. That's very cool. Lucky Texans. Hey, he started to move back already. Bastard. Stun. One of them's already stunned, but I want to stun the other one. And they resist it. Good. Good, great, fantastic. A singular strike. And both bleed. You buffed yourself with a more bleed skill chance, too. Okay. Okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Damage on minus 60. Four to seven damage. You don't deal a lot of damage on your own, do you? What's this? Bonus stun resist. Let's hit the one that doesn't have bonus stun resist for exactly that reason. Let's 
think the whole team should be stressed because the doggo isn't there with them. They're a little more stressed now. Sassafras got moves, holy shit. Repost is fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, he, but his mark is already gone. I thought it lasted longer than that. Okay. Still, it's fantastic, fantastic. They resist that shit. You're already stunned. Could stun you, though. And bring you forward to die. What do I need from you to do? Hmm. Mushrooms can bleed. Intriguing. It's a stun resist, it is. Which gives you 75% stun resist. It does. You're bleeding for 4 damage, you're bleeding for 3. 9, 6 to 10, 4 to 7. You would need to hit the 6 or the 7 for this thing to die. Let's roll the dice. Good shit! Hell yes! How much damage does this do? 3 to 6 and Dazzling Light does 1 to 2? Okay, so this is definitely more. Catcher in the Rye revolves around a prep school boy trying to hold on to anything he can to distract himself from his imminent expulsion because he failed every class but English. And Hitler loved it. <laughs> that's the tragedy, is that's gonna come to mind every time I think of Catcher of the Rye now. I'll have to will myself to forget that. 60% Blight Resist is fair. 60% Blight Resist makes sense. I wish you had something that could de-stress. You know what? Try, actually, wait a sec. Three damage per round. Yeah, blight this one. Good. They're dead next turn. A death by Literally next turn. Got him. The slow death. Okay, so stress management's important with this team, but his damage seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Most censored book in high schools and libraries in the United States. It was censored because at one point to try and de-stress and feel more like a man or something he goes to visit a prostitute as i recall and people were like there's a prostitute in the book this is unsuitable for anyone under the age of 54 because they're stupid why do people like this book because it's an excellent book that touches upon a lot of emotions that teenagers feel that adults rarely address with them it gives them a sense of belonging that adults historically have been really, really bad at giving teenagers, especially in American society. Wasn't that book always weir also weirdly associated with murders? <laughs> so are some of the Beatles songs, all right? <laughs> come to the front, please. You, come to the front of the class. Why do you like Catcher in the Rye? Is your book report ready? Answer me now. Okay, they're done for. That bleed will kill them the next time their turn comes up. I don't need to touch them again. The rest of you fucks. What's that debuff do? Minus bleed resist? Ah, ah, it's fine. Hi, welcome to the front row. Hope you enjoy your stay. It's good to have you here. Yes, angsty people sometimes identify with an angsty character.
You remember a murder mystery? Ending with, what book did he have in his desk? Catcher in the Rise, if it was a gotcha? You're talking about a fictional murder mystery? I thought you were talking about real murders. Just kill this one. Just finish that one off, why don't you? Destroy them all. You've got a chance to stun this one still, in case they get their turn before we go next round. Which I kind of doubt is going to happen, but whatever. Good resists. Good resists all around, it pains me to say. Shit! I don't need to get that much more damage on them in order for them to, uh... die of bleeding. There we go, that's... They're done. They're done, done, done. For the hell of it, you just guard an ally. I, I literally don't need to touch the enemy again, they're gonna die. But I guess I will. Rather than make you bleed yourself. Thirteen. Thirteen stacked up damage over time there. Because throughout the book, Holden's obsessed with phoniness, now pervasive it is. Have a good night, Brad. Thanks for hanging out, friendo. Spiderweb with strange glow, there might be something behind it. Let's throw some medicinal herbs into the spiderweb. Just because I felt like it. And then get the treasures. These are thick spider webs. How can't you tell those treasures are there beforehand? Glittering they glitter. We've got torches and, and shit. Check them in the light, man. Paid for in blood. I have seen the size of the spiders in this area. They're probably not as light and lacy as spider webs I'm I'm uh familiar with. Oh shit, I was hoping that would go twice and I could damn it. Which direction do I want to go? How's my inventory? My inventory is sort of fine. My stress is a little high, but it's not bad. Um, there's a battle along the way here, though. Let's go this way. This seems the most likely way for the boss, so we'll go this way while we're in good condition the light, the to reduce of the chances of completely losing our good condition before we meet them. Left luggage has a lock on it. Thank you for saying that. Now I know to use this. That was just downright so sweet of you, game. Alright. You can bleed. Good. That's good. Good. This is a great start. Resisting bleed's not ideal. So these do stack. I was wondering since I saw the 13 last fight, these do stack, I'd never noticed that. Who the fuck is this guy? This is the collector. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Is that Nicholas Cage, 10 out of 10. I think the connection between Catcher and the Rye and anyone is just coincidence. Uh, I still want bleed on you. You're the important target. I still want you to bleed. I guess you're just what I needed. I needed someone to bleed. How much health have these got? 16. It's so annoying to chew through. It's so fucking annoying to chew through, man.
All right, how much are they taking now? 13 when their turn comes up and they've only got... Uh, 35. Only 35. Oh, finally, a chance for you to cure yourself. Ideal. That's sort of why you were brought. Keep stacking bleed on them in the back. Keep it up. Yes, 16 damage. They grow ever closer to death. Okay, these bleeds are getting a bit much. I can only easily cure one per round. Probably should have used a bandage on you. Whoops. No problem, though. Fourteen, twenty-five. Huh. Cure your own bleed right now. You're being guarded now? How long do those things last? Shit. How long do those things last? One round. So you're going to take 14 next turn and be at 11, and then you'll have 9 damage ticking, which... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good time to crit. That was a good decision to crit right then. Well chosen. Well chosen. Give them no quarter. A predator is often blind to its own peril. Did I stack another blight on him or did I do my math wrong? I guess it doesn't matter, we won. Junia's head, very rare, plus 30% healing skills, plus 20% stress. Would you like this? You're not too stressed yet. Yeah, it's sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. In radiance, may we find victory. Come on, where is this wizened hag? Ah, oh, fuck. All right. A grave nibble. This is damage minus 100%, right? It does. I should probably try blighting someone up front instead. Your blight's four points, isn't it? Yeah, so that one's dead now. Good, 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 good. And stun this one because it will live. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. You just start working your way slowly back to the front. Kind of feel like the fight's likely to end before that, but keep keep working on it, pal. You shuffle on up there, butto. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, these two are done because they're already bleeding. Their formation is Nothing can save them. It's all over. They need to get used to that. This one up front's the only one I need to worry about. And now I don't. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'm really only topping off their health to make myself feel better, but it does make me feel better, so. Uh, is this another place I can use this? I don't really know what that item represents, and so it's hard to decide where it's going to be useful. Very hard to decide. You just ate. At least two of you did. Why do you need more now? I've brought gluttons. Never mind, I need to focus. You can eat what's in the pot when we win.
Hmm. Hmm. My majority damage is a bleed character. This cauldron has some resistances. I imagine you can't shuffle. Yeah, you have you're 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 both immune to movement abilities. That's cool. Can you be stunned? Exceptionally unlikely. I brought all the wrong people. How can you resist more than 100% of a status? I believe it's because you could be debuffed to reduce your resistance, and you can go above 100% to prepare against debuff. Like, I think if, if you have a 110% chance to apply bleed, and the enemy has a 100% chance to resist, your extra 10% means they're lowered to only 90, so you have a 10% chance to actually bleed them still. Something like that. Something like that. Well struck. Oh, you will have less health than I thought. But you p just put the one character that can reach you with damage into the pot. Okay. Great. Oh, do I have to hit it to get you out? I thought this was just a timed thing. All right. How quickly the tide turns. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Does this deal any damage? No, it just stuns and shuffles, does no damage. I could have read that. I could have read that. You might literally, like, you, you're you gonna be busy healing, which might mean the man at arms is the only character who's gonna spend any time attacking this thing. Because you have gotta make up for some of this damage we're taking. I get I get it, I get it, I get it. I, I'm going, I'm going, all right? You happy now? You couldn't spill out of that back into the place you belong in this lineup? I'm sorry, I'm just upset. Injury. Fuck. Palpable fear. Fuck shit, hell damn. Do you have a forward moving attack? You do, Rampart. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and put more bleed on you. Executed. You fuck. You dick, you asshole. throw a frog on me and call it seasoning? Maybe you guys don't want to eat what's in the pot. The wounds of war can be healed. Never hidden. Stop seasoning, seagull. You don't want to eat a seagull either. Do you know what a seagull's diet is? Stop it. Cut it the fuck out. Yeah, I'll get you out eventually. I'm just I'm doing some stuff. Oh, it's HP changes. I didn't realize that. I thought I was just like, I don't know, 10% chance per swing to spill the person out. I didn't realize I could read it. That's sort of why I was, why I was, oh Christ. Oh Christ. That's sort of why I was ignoring Aegon's plight because I didn't know if attacking it more was going to significantly increase my chances. Well, I guess it would have even if it was an odds thing. My bad. My bad. Ah, oh, crap, you can't do anything from back here. Hmm. <laughs> and I almost don't want to move you forward. You, you just have to move back. 
can you you can rampart from one forward you can uh this is shitty this is real shitty how much health you got four you're bleeding for three damage really really <laughs> How's the A-list team coming along? I have no idea who's going to be on it. Seventy-five percent chance to hit and deal two damage to this one health boss. The wood is still poisoned. Now they're gonna get out of the pot, yeah? But less people will be eaten. Thank you. Okay. Success. Awkwardly done, but done. Or is Did I make much money from that? <laughs> we're in kind of a weird... We're in kind of a weird position. Should I go for more loot? Because I got like tons of room to carry it. And I've not even camped yet, Samantha. We haven't even camped yet. I think we should try camping and actually doing this. Because I sort of need to get more loot out of this. I'm getting poorer and poorer back at town every time. Gathered Can I give a suggestion for the A-list team, or is it backseating? I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and suggest a class. Sure. Go for it. Uh, everybody feast. Eat whatever food we have left. Because I'm willing at this point to take us out of here if we need to go. Can anyone protect us from overnight ambush? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, good. All right, so there's a chance of being ambushed. Love that, that's fantastic for us. All companions minus stress. Uh, honestly, I just sort of need to minus one person's stress. Self only minus 50, and you're not it. Heal 33% HP, remove blight, that costs three, it might be worth it. Bless a companion with accuracy and dodge. Pep talk for minus stress, maintain equipment for rot and whatever. Weapons practice, bonus damage, plus 8% crit. Uh, one companion heal and remove. Okay. Can you do that to yourself? No? Um, fine. Um. Hmm. Okay. You heal yourself. You heal her. Uh... Six points remaining. All companions bonus damage and bonus crit. That's four. Do I have like a two to use? I think kind of. All right, whatever. Pep talk. And weapons practice. And please, please, please don't be an ambush overnight. Please, please, please. Today's International Ace Day? Hell yeah. Darkness holds much worse than well, if any of you are Ace, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you all have a fantastic day. But today is for the Ace people. Shit, we did get ambushed. Well, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Marked for Death Team Comp. Arbalist to call this how Master Bounty Hunter. I don't remember what marked for death means, and I don't remember what most of those classes do, but thank you for trying. My problem is I've read some of this game's details and retained none of them. So... Actually, that is accurate, yeah. I, I was about to say something and I thought that's too far, but no. The truth is that I, I understand the game's systems pretty well now. The mechanics generally. I don't remember anything about any individual character. I don't remember what parties work well together. I don't know what to do. I don't I don't know. I don't know what any of them do. I relearn them every time they're on a mission with me, and I forget them when we're back in town. I don't know what these people do. Mark a lot and reap the benefits. 
Ah, uh, yes, the one day I can push my ace agenda of doing nothing with no one. The evil here rubs hands together. Make the most of it. Speaking of, anyone know any good and short romance anime? Shoujo, you don't happen to be here, do you? If you're lurking, feel free to keep lurking too, but I feel like Shoujo might have a suggestion for that because I know she's watched some. Not sure. Shufflestein, come on up here. To the front with you. Because I need my man-at-arms to be able to land hits on you. Sassafras is going to reach you. No one else is going to do anything. Not really. And a crit. And a crit. Well, you don't bleed, but I think that's the only thing I have that's gonna like deal any damage. So we'll take the five, you'll resist the bleed. Oh, you're not a skeleton, you have a skeleton mask. I, I remember what you are, you're a cultist. I hadn't looked closely at you for a second there, my bad. I'm so sorry I misidentified you. I can kill you. Isn't that wonderful for both of us to hear? Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. <laughs> They're not even going to get a chance to bleed to death and blight to death. All right. Good stuff. I'm carrying 11 food. I'm still doing well there. But we have a long ways to walk if I want to get any more loot out of this place. We have some walking ahead of us. What section of the Discord do I search ask? There's an anime channel. That's probably the most appropriate place. God damn, Sassafras! God damn! Oh, uh, I'm still one room back. I gotta click on this one first. Progress, 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 progress. Stress is rising somewhat, but progress, progress, progress. Northward! Okay. I mean, it's not nothing. So I appreciate that. I. Watch your step. Fuck. Whatever. Who's in here? Oh shit, I remember these guys. We should kill them first because they'll spread otherwise. They can bleed. Okay. Okay. I gotta kill like both of these things and break their corpses, I think. How does this work again? Okay. Hang on. Hang on here. Can you be blighted too? You resist blight somewhat, but you can be. Blight for five, you have six health. If I could deal just a little bit so you die of light, you wouldn't leave a corpse, and then I wouldn't be in trouble. That would be great. You can deal a little bit. Perfect. Okay, it shouldn't leave a corpse now. I just have to break the other corpse. Good. Good. Okay, 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 okay. All's well that ends well, and that ended well. I am pleased. So very pleased. All right, you're out of the fight. You also asked in Dragon's Discord? That's another fantastic place to ask for anime recommendations. Most definitely. Most defiantly. And I liked Tomo-chan as a girl. Love is hard for an otaku. I think that phrase has become rather tainted. I'm not certain. I'm not deep in the culture, but I remember at one point reading an article about how the name otaku is something you might want to avoid. Steinsgate, not a romance I know, but still, Tino's always talking about Steinsgate. 
Tino loves him a gate, and apparently Steins is the best. That's where I've heard of Steins Gate. Corpses only matter if one of them is still alive. Kill you. Kill you, kill you, kill you. There we go. Be wary. Scouting and everything. Ah, uh, there's nothing in the room. Let's let's go this way for the curio and then back out, which I know is bad for stress, but whatever. It has a lock on it. Good thing I have a key for it. Um, 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 um. You can hold on to this for now. I didn't even read what that did. Let's work our way back. Do I have the materials to get back without ruining everyone's life and check out even more rooms for even more loot while I'm out here? Do I have the materials? Did I forget to open the treasure in this room? I did, didn't I? Oh shit, there is a secret there too. Hang on, let's get the secret first. I swear to you, I know with the green screen it's hard to tell, but when I'm looking like this, I am looking at the screen. Promise you I am. Oh, hey, I walked right by it. I swear I'm looking at the screen. I forgot secrets are in hallways. Hacks laden. Dismas's head. Bonus damage, minus HP, bonus stress. Uh, well, plus 25% damage isn't going to help the kind of damage you do. Honestly. Well, someone just sort of needs to carry it for now. It's not who needs to have it forever. It's not who needs to carry it forever. Did not know that was a thing. Poor Dismas. Poor Dismas. At least their head will still be of use to us. Put my hand down wrong on the keyboard. Fights can repopulate places? I did not know that. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks for me. guy's done with. The guy in the middle I can ignore. The rest of you, however. Destroyed. One in front I can ignore. <laughs> the rest of you, however. Fucker. Actually, that probably should have been the shuffle one. Should have thrown the shuffle stun grenade at him. Prestige Good shit. And power. Foolish horrors. Brought low. Oh and fuck! I can't. Uh, well, I guess there's no problem with throwing away the food. I was, I was about to say, oh fuck, I can't eat a food because I healed. But we're at full health, which is the point of food, so I shouldn't feel bad about not needing it. We don't have anyone that disarms traps well. 70% Aegon, let's do this shit. Nicely done, Aegon. Good stuff. I'm back. Sorry, I forgot you. 
I know you've got this thing about being forgotten. Sorry about that. 375 gold, 250, but I got two of them. 750, Onyx, 500. What can I throw away? Uh, value 20. Let's throw this away. And let's throw our anti-venoms away. Now, what am I carrying still? 8 torches, 12 food. I mean, we do have the materials to keep going. I'm getting more out of this. Probably be more efficient, though, just to, like, finish this and go out again with an antiquarian on, like, any other mission. Probably be better. I think I'm just giddy this team managed to defeat that boss despite seeming like they weren't built for it. And I want to spend more time with them. I just want to spend more time with this gang. Nice, 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 nice. We it, it nice, good. Stun, stun, stun. Nice. Light. Nice. It's all coming up nice. Nice. Easy game. Easy game. Anyone looking for darkest dungeon lessons? I'll give them to you. Easy game. I love it. I'm pleased with it. I'm happy with it. Three. Okay. Three. Fine. Three. That one's dead. Resisting Blight is bad. Can you kill this? Thank you. We should be okay now. I think we'll be okay now. I imagine these things are pretty slow, right? A devastating blow. Nice. Excellent. An old coffin is slightly ajar. Stick your whole fucking hand in there. Reach on in and get to know the person. There's nothing of value. What a thing to say about the dead. Their memories keep us... Oh, you mean there's no treasure in there. We are looking for treasure. What a thing to say about the dead. a trap. You're the 70% disarm. Unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. Well, good thing you're the person who can cure that next time we're in a fight. Which is not yet, so you can't yet. Sorry. Next room. Hunger. Again? We do have the food for it. Okay. Because you've been walking and fighting, you think you deserve food? No, I meant to just <laughs> use that. It has a lock on it. We'll break the lock open. God damn, dude. Occultist only. I don't have an occultist. Uncommon. Bonus debuff skill. Bonus move skill. Minus max HP. A journal page I don't really care about. There's some good shit here. Can I pass up the food? And take the busts. And can I pass up the bandages and take the cursed incense and we'll leave the journal page? Is that okay with everyone? Because that's what I'm doing. I didn't see that. I forgot you're also on death's door recovery because of the fight with the wizened hag. My bad. Cue the seagull song from bad lip reading. There's no fight in here either. Does no one wish to- Fuck you, traps! 
Mm. Does no one wish to challenge me? Or do you cowards hide behind your trip wires and poisonous mushrooms? I probably don't want to open, uh, reach in that. I think that's just got like a chance of giving food and I don't want whatever it's got in its belly. Fight? Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. They were surprised anyone got by all their shitty traps. Do you guys bleed? You do. So bleed then. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Stun and two. Both of you don't even move this turn. Awesome. Good stuff. 10 health, 19. Can I stun you too? I love this. And can I kill you? Ah, everything else went right. Still a great round, but that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Ah. Keep on them. Neither of them's gonna die. It still has no damage, so it can't push them into death radius. Radius? Range? Whatever. Blight this thing. It's got 60% blight resist. Blight this thing anyway. Yeah! Give a mushroom a, a cold. Do it. Now kill this. That's better. Crit and everything to make up for it. Well done, Sassafras. It's turning around. Yeah, so close to a perfect round. It almost makes it more upsetting that he missed than if the whole round had gone bad that he missed. But the rest of the round was great. The rest of the round was fine. Let's the rest of the round was good. Let's focus on the positives. Hear that before it even hurts him. You're out of here. You're gonna die too. We just need to focus on you. You're likely to die from your wounds as well, though I'm not certain, so instead of counting, I'll just hit you one more time. Bye. See ya. Easy game. I do not need food now because we're about to leave. This is trapped also and has no loot. But we resisted, everything went well. No one was even tested. We didn't even get to 100 stress on anyone. That looked rough early on. Turned out great. How much money did I get? I thought I had more treasure than that. Oh, but I did have very valuable treasure. Oh, you know, this usually looks busier because there's like, 10 torches sold off, all racked up here. That's what that, that's why that looks rough. But it's actually, it's great. We made a lot of money off that. And we got a tough ring, which is cool. Actually, that's very good, wow. That's fantastic. Holy shit, dude. Nervous, bad healer, tough, hard skinned, okay. Fine. Customs are curious, and their generosity is notoriously short-lived. The collection is indeed impressive and all the more appealing when one takes notice of the discounted prices. Normal trinket cost at half. All right. Or any trinkets I'm going to want? I've not really looked at trinkets ever. Rare Plague Doctor, bonus accuracy to melee skills, bonus bleed skills, mm -hmm. bonus damage to melee skills. I don't think I'm using any of those skills. So I'm trying to save money. Musketeer, common 3% crit. Now that has no downside, which sounds nice, but I bet I have something already. Um, Might want to go back and look at that after helping people out. Uh, who who got really stressed during that? Seagull, you got really stressed during that. You will only go to the penance hall? Because you're a flagellant? Will you drink? Really? That sucks. I'm 
shit. That's just a natural outcome of you being a flagellant. It's none of these. Great. Fuck. I was enjoying you so much up until then. What was that party composed of? That party was composed of a Vestal, a Plague Doctor, a Bloodletter? No, Flagellant. And a Man at Arms. You have to pay through the nose. To cool this guy down. Seemed pretty good. I really liked the Flagellant for that mission. Now, when you run across an enemy that can't bleed, that sucks. But, generally, I really liked the Flagellant. That felt good. I like Sassafras too, our man at arms. Vestals are great. Plague Doctors are great. They both felt good. They're both in kind of rough shape. Do I have any other tanks I could take out if I wanted to go again? I guess Bongwaterist could be my tank for a battle. Yeah, let's put people in for... Because uh, this is pretty cheap. Is it? How much do they leave? Mm. How much do they naturally get back? How much stress do they naturally heal just sitting around town? And how do you improve town? There's a place where I can like buy shit in for town, right? Where are those? Was that these? It was. Yeah, because I was thinking of the puppet theater. I need a fuck ton of shields for the puppet theater. I think their idle stress is only minus five per week, so that won't be a lot. Is it worth paying 850 for each of you to go in just to get you ready for another? Probably not. I think you guys can go again. Maybe. Forward one. Do you have a backward forward three? No, but... You have a forward stun. You two could swap places back and forth using these two things, right? It's too bad this is damage mod minus 60%, but you two could go and swap places. Does this increase the damage? No. It does in the fact that it gives you more crit percent, but it doesn't increase the damage mod of the ability, which is unfortunate. Hmm. 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 Trying to decide right now if I want to go out with like Aegon, Fire Lobber, Chloe, and Bongwaterist, or if I want to go out with an entirely new team like Bingus, Chloe, Bong, and Bongwaterer. Or maybe I need a hero to make money. What would that look like? You like being in the back. What are your abilities again? You've got a stab attack. You can use that close up. Festering Vapors gives a really weak blight, honestly. Get down. That backs you up and buffs you. Flash Powder, de-stealths and debuffs. Fortifying Vapors, eh. Invigorating Vapors, dodge. And protect me, force guard by ally. I fucking hate the Antiquarian. I know the point of the Antiquarian is that they just come along and you get a lot more money and shit. But I kind of fucking hate the Antiquarian. I don't like the idea of specifically doing money missions and shit. I don't like the Antiquarian. Hey Dominic, good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. <sighs> this is why I don't play XCOM, by the way. I really want to play XCOM, but I'm struggling to pay attention to and remember the things I need to to run this town. Can you imagine if I tried to like run a base? Right now, I want nothing more than to go throw a random assortment of heroes I kind of think will work in and just do a mission because I love playing the missions. I feel awful sitting here in town. <laughs> What mission would we do? What mission would we do? There's yet another fucking boss, the Sodden Crew, down in the cove. 
Could I put together a team that could go take on a boss? Truck Kun, you would lead them. Actually, Sassafras could probably lead them too. And I do want Sassafras to level up. Sassafras, you would lead them. And then... Um... The stress is a little high for a boss fight. A little high. Chop Hue. Purge. Clear all corpses, buff self. Withstand. Self, bonus damage and accuracy. Bonus damage taken. Solemnity. Heal and de-stress self. Intimidate, but only useful in the front lines. Hmm. 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 Part of me is kind of curious what happens if I take my leper out as a damage. But there's like no sort of reason really to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to hit the back row if I brought them out. One of the big benefits of having Seagull was that he hit the back row a lot. You need to stand in the third position, which my current setup for Aegon also needs to stand in the third position, motherfucker, so... I mean, could I rebuild Aegon to stand in the second position more effectively? What kind of abilities does the Musketeer have? I've never honestly looked closely at them and tried buying or changing anything about them. Just got done singing a pile of songs in a rock band. That sounds like a fantastic time. Feeling pretty good? Hell yeah. Very good buffer for the team and debuffer for enemies. She's just squishy. The Antiquarian. I had to think about who we were talking about there. But I got there. I got there in the end. Was holding out for a hero, one of them. No, but we did We Will Rock You. How about Creep? All right, aimed shot, standing in the back, hit everyone but the front, high damage ability. Smoke screen, debuff targets with minus accuracy and minus chance to crit, also does very low damage. Call the shot, accuracy 100, but no damage, mark the target, debuff the target with minus dodge. So set them up for 50% damage from that, so you can call shot then aim shot. Those two obviously go together. Buckshot, hit the front, has knockback, does half damage. Okay. Sidearm, can be fired from anywhere. Actually 75, 90% damage. Oh, a random target. I kind of wish this like shuffled you back as well. Anyway, it's usable from close up. Patch up, heal, and buff target with more healing received. Skeet shoot. Skeet Shot. Bypass Stealth and D-Stealth. Torch Up. Other Heroes. Clear Stun. Clear Marked. Stress Minus 1 to 60% chance. So mainly Clear Stun. Clear Marked. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright. Aim Shot. Call the Shot. Sidearm. And Buckshot. Aegon, can you stand in the second position effectively at all? I would be giving up, let me see, you can still have Noxious Blast, so you can blight the front. You can no longer stun the back, that's a big loss. You can no longer Battlefield Medicine, I think that's the nail in the coffin. Battlefield Medicine is a big part of why I was bringing you. I think we have to give up on you standing in the second rank. Chloe with Strep, can you stand in the second rank effectively? Oh yeah, you'll move around. <laughs> Man, I'm so bad with characters that move. As soon as I remembered that you move with some of your abilities, I was like, I hmm. kind of don't want to bring you anymore. You don't stand in the second rank well. You just don't. Unfortunate. Uh, you don't really stand in the second rank well, right? And I was thinking maybe we'd go off to a boss. I am keep coming back to the idea of just bringing Truck Kun. Shield Breaker. Forward one, forward one. 
Forward one. Any of these go backward? Back one, back one, back one. Okay. So sometimes you'd be in the second rank, which means when you're in the second rank, you can only use sidearm. That's kind of rough, man. Oh, the musketeer is actually making it really hard to place anyone. I can't figure out my second and third positions. Can't decide who I want in second and third positions. Pierce forward one, puncture range forward one, bypass guard, brace guard can't be guarded, pull two, adders kiss, ah uh, no, those are both front, expose, back one, low damage, bypass stealth, crits received chance up, de-stealth, okay, so what's useful is something that lets you back up, serpent's way forward, two Two blocks? Buff self? Oh, are you like a tank character? I don't know how to use you. You know what, Edgelord, you're coming along. Fuck it. I'm tired of reading these things. You're here. And you're here. You're gonna stress everyone out? That's fine with me. Let's go take on the Sodden crew. I'm tired of looking at this screen. I hope they have camp skills that will be of use. Fingers crossed I got lucky there. Everyone pray for me. Crying eyes had become a new Rock Band 4 is still hobbling band. along, getting two and new so songs every week. Oh right, we're fighting a boss. They're gonna tell me about them. Deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor. And a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. Okay, about the enemies. Nothing. Got it. All right. The poor devils. Chained. Oh. And drowning for eternity. That's probably about them. Let's go find them now. Can't play bass anymore because of arthritis. We just sing harmonies. You know, remember the charging class? Someone made a suggestion to make a whole team just advance and called it a train team. Let's put this army to the test. The big question here is do I want to transform and start the stress up? And I don't know. Um. Could I just stun you because I think you have some bleeds and things and I don't want that going uh you 12 4 to 8 fuck with their order maybe I didn't do everything I wanted it to not everything I think we'll transform. <laughs> I've done so little damage so far this round. I think we'll transform and start the rake train. At least you still got a buff for doing it. Just on your first comedy set of the year, open bar is a killer, but I think back in four weeks, so I think I bombed it. How are you doing? We're doing well. Good on you for getting out there. Don't worry, everybody bombs. You just gotta learn to enjoy bombing. Find some fun at it at least for yourself to keep you going. But it's excellent you're getting out and on stage. Rake and hit this time. That's better. That's better. Good dog. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, call the shot. Crush! Their Good shit. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. <laughs> well, with that riposte, I don't even need the called shot anymore. 
But that's fine. Maybe we'll get a big satisfying crit. They're always fun to see, at least. Oh, crushed is the word. Sorry, when you just said, uh, back in four weeks, so I think I bombed it. I think I bombed it. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about tonight. That's wonderful. GG on crushing it. As the enemy crumbles. These nightmarish creatures Those are rather high stress levels for not even reaching the first room, aren't they? Those are quite high stress levels. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Dude. I have maximum light and everything. How dare you do this to me? Bastards. Zero damage. Resist. Nothing. Nothing doing here. <sighs> now I wish I had those movement skills. No! It's been multiple missions since anyone was tested. I don't remember how to deal with these things. No hope at all. Oh, you won't even... Yeah, you're hopeless. That's okay, you don't need healing, but at some point that's gonna really annoy me. At some point I'm gonna be mad at you. chew through this thing. Any of these move you forward? No? Nice. Light, two points for three rounds. Not a bad idea. Still need you to back up. Still gotta get back to the positions. All good, we're back where we belong. Good. As good. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. You're being guarded. Just call the shot, it only seems like it's going to matter, actually. When I get to like a boss or something else with a lot of health. Till then, I don't think it'll be important. Precision and power. I'll be pleased with it then, though. We are hopefully on our way to a boss. If this team can hold out, if this team can keep it together. Fuck out of here. Halfway done. Dickhead. You can't even do anything up here. You fucking jerk. Why would you do that to me? Ever done a big collab stream? Let me see. I was part of a like. 10 person game of the forest. And I've done four person, five person? No, four person. Games of Civ on stream before. Those are probably the biggest collaborations I've done before. 
monsters uglier than the god skin duo, and that's fucking saying something. Not only did I hate fighting the god skin, they bothered me more than most of the enemies in that game. I didn't like them for multiple reasons. I wonder, if there was a version of Darkest Dungeon where you were tested and the stress level stayed maxed up, testing again and again? Uh, if I kill you, that's enough to get me out of here, right? And then I can worry about my bleeding pal. Come here, bleeding pal. You're fine. Now, do we touch the idol? Yes, we do. Do I have any holy water? No, I don't. Lay your hand on it anyway. Damn. Minus damage until we camp, minus accuracy until we camp. We have gone one room. Look at this party. Look at the stress on their shoulders. Holy shit. Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Snake Lane will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Draven, or perhaps Dr. Aven. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, I appreciate that. Good to have you here, hope you're having a good time. Fuck these things. These usually give food, right? I don't wanna to touch it, just keep moving. Fuck you! The way is lit. The path is clear. Scouting, good, scouting. Is there a fight coming up? There's a fight, a secret, and a fight. I've got minus damage right now. Honestly, I want to camp. But, assuming the boss is here, I would have to camp and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms, which is longer than a short mission is, a lot of times. Christ. Camp now? I'm thinking we should because this character is a big part of my damage. And there's two battles coming up, not just one. Also, I'd make space for loot from the secret door. Uh, we might be fucking ourselves and committing to a, moment of a path where, uh... A chance to steal one's <laughs> against the this might not be good. I'm gonna do this for the minus stress as well, so we're spending a lot of food on this rest. We might have to leave this early. We'll see. Uh, all companions minus 15 or minus 5. I honestly don't know if so how to tell if someone's religious or not. No clue. One companion, heal, heal, remove bleeding. Oh, I don't need any healing. I need things that lower stress and protect us overnight. That's what I need. Nothing protects us overnight. Great. All right, uh, pray, remove some stress. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus. This is awful. This is a very bad outcome. Did you not get that either? This game sucks. <laughs> this is on PC only. I believe it's on consoles. I'm pretty sure it's on Switch at least, but I think it's on all the consoles. I've not double checked though. Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> at least we didn't get ambushed. Okay, so we camped, and we are in virtually the same condition. Let's go onward. At least there's not a whole lot of this mission left to go. <laughs> Should have had someone with high stress do that, but I couldn't have known ahead of time. So I forgive myself. It's important to forgive yourself, Samantha. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, 
and purpose is made. Can we do a prediction on this dungeon run? I think we're a bit far in for a prediction on this dungeon run. I think we've gone a bit deep to do prediction now. Well struck. This is why I can't play this game. I build my perfect party and total party kill would happen. And I'd forget about the autosave and uh, forget again the autosave and leaving mid battle. I don't mind my characters dying. I just don't want to spend time giving them gear and shit in town. Deciding who needs to go get what cured and reading all their different plagues and diva. I don't I don't want to read all that. Close. Close to a kill. And there it is. Any casualties? We've lost two Crusaders. both highly resistant to stuns right now, right? I say highly, only 60%. Only 60. Which is high enough, okay. Whatever. You've got two damage per round, you're at six, you're at eight, this deals five to nine. Just kill that one. Besides, my melee can reach this guy. Just kill that one, it's fine. There we are. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Journal page, goodbye. Um, what else? Grave robber only, I don't have a grave robber with me. Common plus two speed, you know what? You can get the fuck out of here. Jade 375. Uh, anyone else missing any health? Throw away that one food and pick up the last one. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, onward to this room is where we're going. No, not the secret fucking room. To the door. Much better, much better. Go team. It's all been worth it. At least we got money this run. I'd leave now, frankly, a net gain is good enough. We have a chance here. We have a chance. Also, if I leave, I have to go back to town where I'm made to read things and strategize. We hang on to our chance here. A devastating blow. Ten, five to nine, crit twelve. Mm. How much damage does this do? Four to eight, it's less damage, okay. Uh, buckshot to shuffle. Could you just crit? It would help me if you would just crit. Okay. That was a, a very good damage anyway. Well, well done, well done on the, on the damage. It's enough to get it within kill range there. That works for me. He has repost! You idiots! Reading is bad, boo words, it's necessary for this game. Good shit. I love it when that happens. Uh, why don't you stun this guy? The light. Good try. The promise of safety. Go back again. I don't love that guard, but okay. At least you're in a position where she can shoot you. Because she can't hit the front rank. Whoa, that sucked. I forgot they could do that. 
He was being guarded. How do you feel about how you spent your turn? You're probably just as mad at him as I am. I have returned. Welcome back. See, Bingus is no longer with us. In fear of the worst has occurred, Bingus is alive and well back at town. I mean, a little stressed, but Bingus is fine back at town. The ground quakes. Stop stressing other people. Ah, uh, at least he just healed himself. Everyone else get a little. Give me enough take a little taste. Well, let's get out of here. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Will you go away? Get out of here. Thank you. I need to see. I gotta see. Take these busts. 250, 375. 250 is really quite on the low end, but it is stackable. How many more do I have to go? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might just get through it with eight. I'm tempted to toss an entire group of this, but honestly, there's, there's not enough money here to be worth it. It's not worth tossing an entire, like, set of shit. What am I talking about? Also, I counted wrong. I was counting from one room further forward. Yeah, it's really good I didn't just throw torches. In radiance, may we find victory. We're back to the idea of tossing torches. The match is struck. A blazing star. It's done. Born. It's done. No fights. Trap here. Do I have anyone better at traps this time around? Nope. Good luck, Sassfress. Nice job. Well done, pal. Well done, buddy. Uh... A pool of water cupped in smooth stone. Its color looks slightly off. Drink deep of it. That's a good buff. That's very, very helpful. Thank you. Have we captured the siren yet? I've killed the siren. I killed the siren and I killed the wizened hag. We are on our way to the sodden crew. Though I have big doubts about us making it there before I feel I need to leave. Big doubts. This party's kind of limping along. Any one fight could push us to the point where I'm like, we should get out of here. It could happen very easily. You know, he hasn't transformed once yet. I think it's probably the first fight I'm gonna have him transform. It sucks a bit for us, but oh my God. I think I need his damage. I, I think I need him to transform. Sorry, everyone. Cut that the fuck out, will ya? dodges. If you see someone coming at you, step out of the way. More of that. I like that. You were so good at this one turn ago. Hmm. I still think it's healed the entire party. Battle. 
Got anything that clears corpses? <sighs> Has Aegon died yet? No. What if you had a team of abominations? Would they stress each other or start vibing? They would unfortunately stress each other. I would love it if they all just got along. They should each be used to it, right? But I think they would all stress each other the way the mechanics in the game work. All right, we're out of that. Our health is a bit worse, but we're out of that. Plague Doctor only. 40% Blight skill minus max HP uncommon. Doesn't sound bad. Does it sound good enough to carry around with me? I don't know. I wonder if these guys coming up are going to bleed us. I sort of doubt Blight's coming from the crew. That's a guess, I admit, but I sort of doubt it. Uh, Where's my food? I still have eight food. I probably don't want to eat eight food now because there's a good chance of another hunger check. Uh, all right, which of you isn't worth much? 375? I'm bringing this. Two curios, no fight. Good stuff. Drink again, you had good luck last time. Excellent. Actually, I probably should have done that with someone else so they could share the buff. Good. I just threw you away you could have stacked with. How dare you? How dare you do this to me, game? I need to keep four for the hunger check that's coming up almost certainly before I get out of here. There's only two rooms to go, Samantha. We may indeed make it to the crew. I wonder if I'm in shape to fight the crew. first round. Not a bad first round at all. No mirrors back in the day. The abominations think they look normal. See your semi-low on health things? We're almost out of here. We have a boss fight coming. I may have walked the wrong direction in which case, which case we almost certainly won't go back and find the boss because walking back would take some more materials. I don't know. We'll see. I'm expecting the boss ahead of us for sure. I give it like a 90% chance, but I also don't know what I'm talking about. You do this so often. So damn often. Now our health's in quite good shape. Stress bad, health good. the mud. Um, let's get rid of our keys. That is not what I meant to pick up. I meant to pick these up. I think, uh, I think the right choice there is to drop our keys, of all things. I don't like the look of this group. Not one bit. Not one bit. Alright. You haven't gone yet? Don't go, please. Thank you. you had a really high chance to crit. Aimed shot doesn't feel as strong as it should be. 
I'm sort of hoping... Well, the Sodden Crew is going to be a number of enemies, just based on the name. Maybe she still won't be that great because we can only mark one person at a time. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Shit. Hmm. The slow death. I'm, I'm waiting for her to come into her own with like a single target she can mark and then be hammering with bullets, but this just might not be the mission for her at all. You got resistance to stun? No, you have bonus prod. You can still be stunned. So be stunned. Very obliging of you. Okay, one to go. Would you like to spend your time guarding those corpses? You're welcome. It's up to you. Do as you please. No, you want to make my characters bleed? Fine, I can't, I can't say I'm surprised. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Eat chain. And light. Eat chain mace and light. And please die. Sidearm doesn't seem able to hit corpses, which is really good. That's uh, very kind of them to program it that way. I'm super thankful it works that way. I think we leave both. A live oyster who knows what value it hides. You do, because you're about to open it. We're not taking either of these. Actually, one of you can wear one of these, I guess. There. A little more value out of this run. <laughs> Let's go see what the fuck the Sodden Crew is. Because otherwise I need to go to town and read. We seem ready for a boss. I was right to keep my shovels. Another oh, it's good to be vindicated. Another misfortune. I do enjoy that. A fortune waiting to be spent. Enjoy that very much. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders. They are one team. Oh, Samantha, this is good for our, uh, this is good for our, uh, musketeer. This is really good for our musketeer. Nice. Okay. What does this thing do? Drowned puller. All right, let's weaken that thing so that hopefully you can kill it. Does this a prod? It doesn't. Muting? What was that magical knife through a heart? I, I guess it's fine, but what the fuck was that? Muting. Oh, it's a mutiny? I still don't know what it does. Hopefully I never have to find out. Whoa. Immobilized. That's bad. will hit both if he rakes. I like that. Slam, knockback, debuff, target, rage is higher damage, but I think we go with rakes. I think we go with rakes. Can you bleed? No, because you're skeletons. That makes sense. Just curious. Wondering if I should feel bad I didn't have my bleed character, but we're doing well. We're doing well. Anchored even. He's getting stressed every turn from this. Is that what's happening? Do they leave corpses? They do not, seemingly. Excellent. Excellent. 
You don't hang around drinking with strange undead men. Excellent job, fire lobber. Okay, they're marked, right? So this should deal more, way more damage than usual. 22% chance to crit, yeah. All right, good. Good, good. This is what we brought her for. This is the point of this character. Oh, did Mark fall off already? Why did Mark fall off already? What? No, it's... The point of the character is... I need the marked for a while for it to be worth using her. Maybe the musketeer is meant to be combined with... God damn it, dude. Irrational. Sword doesn't matter what he gets, he can't move. Taken over the oh. Into madness. <laughs> that was very kind of that undead. They recognized they were having a tough day mentally and just, you know, let him go for now. That was sweet of them. They only have a 50% stun resist, yet I absolutely cannot stun them. Absolutely can't. I need her to accept healing sometimes, though. Please don't be hopeless. Jesus. You ever gonna resist that? Oh, you remember back when I got that one 19 damage crit and everything looked bright and sunny? It's your turn? You can take a turn in this state? It's your turn? What? Dude, it takes like 10 seconds for his turn to begin when his turn starts. You know, like between when his turn is supposed to start and when I can take an action. Cause he's got to bleed, yell at himself, get stressed. I think he got stressed before yelling himself actually for something else. Hmm. A singular strike. Oh, I also meant to uh, give you a bandage, and I forgot to click it. That's on me, though. That's on me. He would have just begun bleeding again anyway. Mark is already gone. Is it because this enemy takes two turns per round that Mark disappears before I get to shoot it? This fucking game. This goddamn game. Why did he just hit a friend? Oh, because he's irrational, right? There's no talking to this man. Absolutely no talking to him. Is 
see what I mean about how long his turn takes to start. So this will do 6 to 10, this will do 9 to 16, well we obviously go for this one even if his rake buff falls off. We obviously go for that one. The crit is fantastic. We've got the boss lower than the half health. We're not doing fantastically, but we've got the boss below half health. Please, please, please accept this heal. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. God damn it, dude. God damn it. Why are you going now? I need you to go first. Shit. When did my musketeer get so incredibly slow? I thought she usually went at the start of rounds. When did you get so insanely slow? Please! Move back two? Some characters can move back multiple spaces. I've never even checked. That's good, but how long have I been missing that? Okay, all right. We're kind of in it, still. is just annoying. Just straight up annoying. I right, that's the wrong attack. Oh well. Well, I was wondering why you never picked the move back two option. No clue it fucking existed. Everyone's letting us heal them. That's good. That's good. That's great. Ah, oh, you're supposed to kill the little guy. You're supposed to kill the little guy. Come on, man, you're gonna have a heart attack soon. You were supposed to kill the little guy. Why is he at full health again? My tank's gonna have a heart attack before I can get out of this, man. Two damage on that? And it's healing from this shit? Repost is doing nothing. The enemy keeps like wrapping me up. Repost is doing nothing. Stun's doing nothing, but I'll throw it. Finally, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's one. There's one. It doesn't matter. What just happened? Why doesn't stun matter? What in the f fuck just went on? Okay. I stunned one specific one of them, I guess. Seven. Twelve health. Three to six damage on rage. Why? This was dealing so much before. Why does your damage suck? Huh? Why is your damage suddenly pathetic? Oh, this guy's, this one has prot 50%. 7 to 13, 50.5. Hmm. 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 Pretty worried. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Wonderful. What does that mean? In the eye of the storm. What does focus to do? I can't tell. This is like the last round we can afford to even try anything. Can I do 19 damage before you have a heart attack or it's just too much for me and I feel I need to leave? Can this team do 19 damage? 12 to go. Four to eight. You're supposed to be like the big piece of damage here, man. Four to eight. Please roll the eight. Good. Four health. Four. You gotta do this right here, right now. Seven to 13, just don't miss. You have a nine out of 10 chance to hit. Finally. Yes! <laughs> this game sucks, but I did it! Fitting. Oh my God. Fucking hell. Yes, please get me out of here. A ruins phobe? But that all happened in the cove. Were you thinking of the ruins while we were down there? Why are you a ruins phobe? Whatever. He wasn't even the one who became irrational. They meet in secret, that none may know the horrifying depths of their enquiries. While strange utterances and unsettling chants typically characterize such events, we have been assured there is no real danger present in the rituals themselves at the Weird Council. Does that mean anything? Seagull's bloodletting was a bit too effective. Seagull engaged in flagellation, recovered 100 stress. Oh, they have minus 25% bleed resist now? Ah, oh, whatever. Town event, weird council. What does that mean? What does any of that mean? Why is this so costly? This wasn't always this costly. Oh, it's more costly because you're level three now, right? That's why it's so fucking costly. That's why it's so fucking costly. Well, one of you drink. It would cost me less if one of you goes drinking. You'll drink? Thank you. This doesn't, right? Yeah, it costs the same. You go drinking. You go meditate. You go... M you don't meditate. You have to pray. Is that a thing you've got? We'll only pray. Yeah. All right, that's not too bad. Let's send you to pray before you develop a more serious quirk because you don't get the help you need. <sighs> Who else just has high stress even if they're not on the edge of, like, developing something? No one. Musk resisted. Dropped all their stuff. That's good. That's good. That turned out surprisingly well for how incredibly stressful that was the entire time through. And I'm still unhappy to be back in town and at a point where I need to read things. Still unhappy to be here. Is there any way to tell what the weird council is about? Anyway at all? Oh god, I want to look at you. Go away. I don't want to look at you guys. Is Aegon ready for battle? Uh, yeah, Aegon's in decent condition. Aegon's doing well enough. <sighs> Smith, I think we'll break there. This game tests me. Maybe I'm just in an impatient mood tonight, but... <sighs> I want to engage with the mechanics, but how deep the mechanics are in a few instances, combined with... How hard it is to see the information on like just one or two screens. I feel like I have to go through a bunch of screens. And then some of the information not even being present. Like we were talking earlier about it not telling you how long buffs and debuffs last. It makes me doubt all my decisions and I have trouble keeping it all in mind. And eventually I just throw myself out into a dungeon with whatever group seems it'll work. And 
it's fun enough doing this normal. I, f I feel like it's not going to fly an apprentice. But I'm not sure I can do better. Kind of need to gauge the mechanics. I don't want to. Well, I want to. I just wish they were different. So I guess that, that no, that's the same thing. I don't want to the way they are. I can't keep in mind, like, all the possibilities for one character, combinations of characters. And then I would need to go out and test a lot of things like how long her mark debuff lasts. And remember all that. Rough stuff. Rough stuff. Still, we were largely successful tonight. Nobody died. We beat all of our missions. We only did it accumulating a lot of stress. Uh, most importantly, though, we made money and leveled people up. I've been losing money over the last couple streams I played Darkest Dungeon. We reversed that trend and did it without even taking the Antiquarian out and doing like specific, easy, short uh, loot missions. We did it while leveling characters up and defeating bosses. We, we beat three bosses tonight, in fact. I like this game, I just want to change it fundamentally. Bring back the Elden Ring notepad for well notes. It's sitting right beside me. It's covered in notes for the uh, randomizer right now. Samantha, that's going to be the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I had a wonderful time hanging out with you. Um, I'll be back on Sunday playing Elden Ring Randomizer that I was just talking about on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash rxhydroshorts. So I hope I see you then. I'll be back on Twitch sometime next week. I was looking at Dredge today. I kind of want to play Dredge. I kind of want to stream Dredge. There's like this tiny chance that I got online Saturday afternoon and play Dredge for 10 hours and see if I can beat it. But I would say it's a tiny chance. Don't hold your breath. You probably will see me Sunday in the next week. Alright, love each and every one of you. I've packed you a nice little lunch. I took the crusts off your sandwich because I know you don't like them. Um, take care. Night. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me do a quick check here. I really need to go eat. My stomach's growling at me. I don't immediately see someone. I'm, I'm going to leave you to your own devices to find entertainment. Have a good night.